begin the sequel act to their MAC championship season a year ago. Of course, expectations sky high around the Cal as NIU welcomes Eastern Illinois to town to kick off Labor Day weekend. And we welcome you inside of the booth alongside Tyoka Jackson. I'm Jason Ross Jr. Pumped to have you with us for another season. Slice of history in this matchup. Last year, NIU became the first team to go from a winless season to a conference championship season. Now, Tayoko, one of the biggest questions in sports, how do you repeat? Well, you got to turn the page. Look, that was an amazing run last year, especially when you consider the prior season, 0-6 in the conference, and they come back and win the whole thing in 22. Feel great about it. But you've got to be a better, hungrier football team this season because every single team on your schedule will be just that. And because of that, of course, the expectations much higher than a year ago. Why do you feel NIU can live up to those expectations? Well, it's about balance, right? They got to make their team more than just a one dimensional running football team. They've got a really good quarterback, a fifth year senior, a guy they can feel really good about. Now, he may not be the best player on this team, but Rocky Lombardi is undoubtedly the most valuable player because he gives them the ability to be efficient in the passing game. And when he plays well, this team plays well. So Rocky, You've got the keys to drive this team back to the Motor City. The Motor City, of course, the dream destination for every team around the MAC Conference where the championship game is played at the end of the day. Beautiful weather on this Thursday evening here at NIU. The students are out. Week one, of course, the buzz. You and I both said it. We stepped on mm. campus. That smile naturally <laughs> settled in on our faces because college football is back. Listen, you know, first of all, you know a little bit of something about the Motor City, don't you? I do. The D, bit, right? Bit. Right? That's where that Mac conference is played, that championship game, and we love the D. But there's a long way from last year, right? I mean, this is a brand new season. Hope Springs Eternal for everyone. But I really believe they've got to up their tempo. They've got to up their focus because they are the hunted dogs now. Those Huskies, they're hunted. That was Stone Galloway on your screen for Eastern Illinois. He'll kick it off. NIU will receive. The fans at Husky Stadium are up. And the title defense begins for Northern Illinois. And off we go from DeKalb. This one's taken out of the end zone. A little cut back. Mason Blakemore, the elusive running back we will see shortly here, taking the kick out of the end zone and up to about the 27. Rocky Lombardi, who Tayoka just talked about in the open, elected a captain in just his first year on campus a year ago after transferring to Michigan State. That says a lot about you as a QB, Tao, could be garnering that much respect for your teammates that early on. Now just think about it. They didn't know who he was, right? He comes in and he did it with the way he goes about his business every single day. It's not about what you say, it's about what you do. So when they saw his work ethic and how he brings it on a daily basis, this guy's a dude now. A lot of quarterbacks like to separate themselves from their teammates, not this guy. He is a dude very much a part of the group this is the identity of the northern illinois offense as you see eastern illinois get the stop after about a gain of a yard jordan vincent made the tackle the key db who might creep up pretty often for the panthers listen they are a 425 we'll talk about that but that's not going to be enough to get it done right they got to bring safeties up close to the line of scrimmage because this is one of the best rushing football teams in all of college football only the service academies ran the football more than northern illinois a season ago they bring Fabian McCray in motion, going to the air for the first time today, and it's a completion to Cole Tucker on the sideline. That's what I'm talking about. That's the balance that we're looking for from this offense. Everybody knows that they can run the ball, but it's taking advantage of one-on-one -on -one matchups, and that's just a really nice bench route, and the timing is good. That's what you want to see early, right? Coming out of camp, will the timing be there? Will we be able to get ourselves in the right play, pitch and catch it with great timing? Cole Tucker, the DeKalb kid, by the way, his high school just a couple of miles away from here, went to DeKalb High School, getting in the mix early. As the Huskies go back to the ground, mentioned this is their identity, and they're running behind a really good offensive line. One of the best. One of the best in all of college football. I think it's probably the best in the MAC. I mean, some other teams will argue with that, but they're big, they're physical, and, and what I like most about them is they get to the second level. They stay on their feet. A lot of big offensive linemen, you find them on the ground all too much, right? This guy's in red. The big uglies, they call them, they stay on their feet, dancing bears. They get to the second level. They move people. The big uglies are back. <laughs> College football is back. Ontario Brown in the backfield right now for the Huskies. 
see a lot of pre-snap movement and shifting from this Husky offense. They're going to test you mentally, test your high discipline as well. There's two receivers in this set. They run towards that direction with Brown, and he's gobbled up, bringing it up to third and short here. Tim Varga made the tackle. You saw Elijah Tolbert come free in the hole. This is going to be big, right, for e, uh, EIU because they're going to have some guys free. When you come up with eight man and nine man fronts, you're going to have free hitters, but you got to make the tackle. You can't afford the missed tackles in the backfield because every missed tackle is another opportunity for these guys to push forward and make it third and short. That's what you have right here. NIU loves third and manageable third and short. This is their bread and butter, and they're not afraid to go, to go for it on fourth and short either. Did that a lot last season. They go to Harrison Whaley this time. The veteran of the running back group finds the edge. There's a flag down. He hits the sideline inside of the 20. Down and just out prior to the end zone. There is a flag down way back at the NIU 43. It's pushed out by Kalen Drakeford, but we'll see what the call is here. That's that speed from Harrison Way Lee. Now, this guy is special in open field. He, he's got another level of gear that most guys don't have. Greg Sujak, our referee for today. Illegal low block. Number one on the defense. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. First and goal. Yeah, as you heard there, that call going against Eastern Illinois. This is a counter OF. They pulled around everybody, and what happens was the corner of that defense got collapsed. He breaks it to the outside, and there's nobody home. And didn't see the penalty there, but I'm guarantee you that's a little DB trying to take on a pulling guard, a pulling tackle, and goes below the knees. That's something there's a that's a point of emphasis right now. They're trying to get people from unnecessarily going low, taking guys' knees out. It's a 51-yard gain on third and two to set up Northern Illinois at the EIU two. They go right back to Whaley, patiently picking his way ahead, trying to forge into the end zone. Eastern Illinois D-line stops him just short. I'd be really shocked if this ball goes in the air. This is NIU Husky football right here. Ground and pound make you love it, and if you don't love it, they're going to keep on doing it. <laughs> Seeing the identity nice and early here. Brock Lampy, the fullback, also in. Whaley takes the handoff. It'll be Lombardi keeping it. Little deception there. Diving ahead and stopped at the one. Ray John Lewis made the tackle. So Texas Tech transfer. Lewis made a really nice play. Got in the backfield. And like we said, when you get back there, you better make the play. Because if you miss these guys, they can take it to the house. And it doesn't matter. Rocky Lombardi rushed for nine touchdowns last year. Okay, he can run it too. Say, how do you like the deception there with them keeping it with the Rocky? Love it. Look, look at this right here. Look at this disparity in weight, right, and height. These are big physical offensive linemen. It's fine, all right, if EIU, you just got to get off blocks and make plays in the backfield. They bring George Gums in motion. Lombardi hands it off to Whaley, who plunges his way into the end zone, the first touchdown of the season for the Huskies. There's some hitting going on down in that field, partner. And that's not bad defense, but the problem is you're inside the five-yard line. All you need is one or two to get in. And bam, well, that's nice contact right there. And he goes down right at the point of contact. But the problem is he just needed one to get it across. Boom! That's college football right there. I like it. You give up the big play, you get them down there. It's really a tough offense to stop wherever they are. But once they get down inside the five, man, you, they just ground and pound. They got too many big guys and know exactly what they're doing. Five plays, 72 yards. The big one was the 51-yard burst from Harrison Whaley. And it's Whaley who caps it off with the opening touchdown. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame.
With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. At Duracell, we're obsessed with bringing a better battery to life. Your life. New Duracell with power boost ingredients to power more when it matters. More life in your controller, so it's game over for him. More time powering her mobile. For the power nap you need. More from your headlamp at its brightest. For more brilliant memories. Engineered for you. Engineered for more. This, this is supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity. It's fast. So gaming with your niece has never felt more intense. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, oh, uh... Unbeatable internet, only from Xfinity. Seven nothing start for the Huskies thanks in large part to this 51 yard run from Harrison Awaley. That's power O. Jason is when they down down and pull around to the strong side, and they are supposed to run that in the C gap, which is inside the tight end. But they, the, the offense collapsed the defense. He got around the corner, and that's just easy pickings. When they get that close, he's not very big, but he runs hard, and he knows how to lower his pads. They've got really two really talented players at the running back position, Antonio Brown. Ontario Brown, excuse me, and Harrison Way Lee. Way Lee averaged 5.7 last year, right? And, and he wasn't even the starter, not even close. But these guys and Brown himself averaged six yards a carry. So they've got really good talent at the running back position. And we talked about it before. It's going to come down to their ability to be balanced. Can they show a threat to throw the football enough to manipulate the defense and start get them guessing? Is this going to be run? Is it going to pass? And when that happens, man, this offense is really tough to stop. John Richardson will kick it off here for the Huskies. EIU will return this out of their own end zone as Dandy gets cut down at his own 15. As the momentum continues. Now out comes this Panther offense, a 1 in 10 season a year ago. Lone victory came at Tennessee Tech. Under a new leadership now, and Chris Wilkerson. They have three different quarterbacks that they're working with out of camp, but they want to start to be number six in white here, Jonah O'Brien. He's a former walk-on, right? He came from junior college, but they like this kid because he has a big arm. He can stretch the field. He's a, the best thrower on the roster. May not be the greatest athlete, but they feel like they can push the ball downfield and throw all the throws even out wide. So they feel like he gives them the best chance to be a, a really dynamic offense. They go to the grounds on their opening play. It's Markenzie Pierre. And we're going to kind of watch this Eastern Illinois offensive identity unfold before our very eyes because their offensive coordinator is also new with Joe Davis. Yeah, Joe likes to spread them out. You know, they're a spread offense that wants to pound it. They're physical, running, spread offense. And that, for old guys like me, that's an oxymoron, right? It's spread and physical. Well, that's power the new spread, college football. Right? Yeah, power spread. There you go. And so they want to dowsle you with a lot of formations and personal groupings, but they want to punch you in the mouth almost as much as NIU. They bring the tight end, Manavez, in motion, then flip it to him. He's brought down by C.J. Brown, who led this Husky defense in tackles a season ago. First team all Mac. I like C.J. Brown. When you watch him on tape, he flashes over and over again. I don't care. He's 5'11", 192. Not the biggest safety you've ever seen. I don't care about that. I want to know, is he always in good position? That's what you want from the safety. And when it's time to tackle somebody, does the ball carry go down? And you saw he did right there. You're headed to Louisiana next week, partner. You know, C.J. Brown told me he likes to study the honey bat. Oh, yes. That's right. One of the best. And again, not very big, right? Not very big, no. But, man, he brings every pound he has on every tackle. That is what he pointed out to me, similar stature. That's one of the reasons Brown likes to study Matthew. So it brings up third down. 
Very important they pick up a first down here. This defense is sucking wind. You don't want to put them back on the field. Timeout. We'll get a timeout called yeah. by the Panthers sideline. This crowd ramping it up on the opening drive for the Panthers. 7 nothing start for the Huskies. The ground and pound game working early. Our Hillshire Farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor. Then double seal every slice for freshness. The results, they speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. At Duracell, we're obsessed with bringing a better battery to life. New Duracell with Power Boost ingredients helps this headlamp shine at its brightest for longer. And the longer this headlamp shines, the more interesting your stories become. Electrified. Hanguk Tire. The BK $5 Your Way meal is here to satisfy your cravings. Enjoy a savory Southwest Bacon Whopper Jr. with small fries, four-piece crispy nuggets, and a small drink. The $5 Your Way meal with Southwest Bacon Whopper Jr. Only at Burger King. If you're sitting there thinking about quitting, don't. Because today, we are not afraid of growth. We are built to do hard things. I want you to feel alive today. You are a plate of fajitas at a packed restaurant turning heads. Sizzle, baby. Sizzle! Keep sizzling. Great things take time. You are tougher. Peloton, motivation that moves you. The Chris Wilkerson era beginning at Eastern Illinois. Returning to his alma mater, played for EIU from 91 through 94, and had a stint on the staff in the late 90s. So, okay, I really liked his energy in our conversation earlier this week. Yeah, I, I'm not shocked why he got this job, and I think he loves the fact that he's back home. And he brought three other coaches on his staff that played here as well. So, you know, you, you like the opportunity to bridge some of the old with the new. They believe in this team. They believe in this program. They want to see it get where it wants to be. This is his first head coaching job ever. And look, let's, say, let's face it, you got nowhere to go but up, right? There's the offensive coordinator, Joe Davis, also in his first year. Those two have a very good rapport. And Chris Wilkerson, you look back at his tenure in the late 90s on this coaching staff. Eastern Illinois had four FCS playoff appearances, a couple of conference championships. So he wants to get this program back to where it once was. And they're hoping Jonah O'Brien at QB is the one who can lead them there. On third and six, they need a first down. Got him. Flips it out. Deflected. Jordan Hansen picked up the loose ball 9 11 to go in the opening quarter. Quick three and out for Eastern Illinois. Well, he had the back in the flag. That's unfortunate, but that's a, a terrific play. I didn't get the name. I, I think that's jersey number 52, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I mean, that's just an excellent job. If you can't get to the quarterback, you don't want pass rushers jumping too much, right? But if you are not at the quarterback, you're not hitting him, and the ball's thrown your way, get your hands up. Help the, help the team. Because that would have been a completed pass and a chance for a first down. So. You got you got to feel good about if you're if you're the Panthers that you had an opportunity to come back to that play later on Ivan Davis deflected it. This is Cole Tucker who's already caught a pass today couple of nifty moves flag goes down couple of flags out near the 35 Seven nothing start for Northern Illinois coming off the MAC championship win a season ago nine and five all six of the MAC wins came by one score there's Thomas Hammock their head coach pretty animated conversation there he wants to be clean in the first game yep during the return it was a ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul 
Northern keeps the ball. First and ten. They got Rayshon Miles Jr. who he was talking with there. Blocking it back. Yeah. Who is. As you mentioned, Hammock is a guy who wants things to be clean. You mentioned all six of those wins in the MAC a season ago came as single digit victories. As you see our keys here against this Northern Illinois offense. We've already seen it on one possession, Tioka. Trying to stack things up at the line of scrimmage might be key for them. Well, yeah, first of all, you know, you have to be dominant at the line of scrimmage. When this offensive line plays the way it's capable, this is one of the best offenses in the MAC, and you got to load up the box. They're 4 2 5 base. That's not enough guys up front. You got to bring the safeties involved. We've already seen it. There'll be one on one opportunities on the outside. Nearly intercepted, deflected off the hands that time of Nick Coates, who's in today. Didn't know if we'd see him, and he comes in early. Uh, didn't get a lot of time a year ago. That's a big play. Yeah, it's the first year starter. This time they went zone, and I think they fooled Rocky Lombardi right there. They had a lot of guys on the scrimmage. I think he thought it was man coverage. They back off, and Coates gets in the throwing lane. You just want to make the big plays. There's going to be opportunities for the Panthers. If they want to pull off an upset on the road, you got to take advantage of every opportunity you get, and that's, that's opportunity right there at number three for a big play. Turnover battle typically very key if you're trying to pull off an upset. Huge TFLs and turnovers. They got to get a bunch of them today. So the Huskies go back to their bread and butter. Ontario Brown gobbled up, though, back near the line of scrimmage. Jordan Vincent leading the way. Elijah Benoit also in there. Yeah, that's great pursuit by Benoit. What you saw there, the front side was bottled up. And every good back is going to run to daylight. So he decides to cut it back. Watch the front side. There's nothing there. Here's the cutback because the linebacker's filling. And right there, Benoit is where he needs to be and makes a short tackle. Third and long. Third stop of Benoit's college career. Second season with Eastern Illinois. Brings up the third and long. Lombardi steps up, flips it down to Whaley, and he is dragged down promptly by Jordan Miles. That's good zone defense there. I mean, what you saw from Rocky Lombardi was manipulating the, court, the pocket. Right? It wasn't there initially. He steps up, keeps his eyes downfield, and finds a guy. That's just really good defense coming up to make a tackle. And they're going to have to do that all day long. And a rare punt, fourth yeah. and short. How right? about this EIU defense? <laughs> that's, that's a really good play. This is what you, this is an early win. To get an the answer punt. back. Yeah. And, and again, they played pretty good defense in the last drive, except for the long run, right? You can't take it back. But if you don't give up the big plays, you got a shot. Cooper Willman back to return here. I see the Panthers come after some punts today. Fair catch called by Willman. So fairly decent starting position for the Panthers offense here coming out for their second series. It was a quick three and out on that opening possession. Any adjustments you're looking at seeing here, Tayoko? We know the running game is something that was a key part of the identity when Chris Wilkerson was at University of Chicago. Yeah, they want to run it. They can't pitch the ball all around the field all day and expect to win. They, we talked about NIU's need to be balanced. Well, so do these Panthers. They, they got to be balanced, too. They've got a really big 230-pound back from Syracuse named Mackenzie Pierre. I'd like to see him get going. He's a power five type talent. He needs to start playing like it for this offense to go where it wants to. Right on cue, he takes the handoff and showcases that power, lowering the shoulder. Ultimately brought down. Marquette Pierre, as you mentioned, intelligent in the words of this coaching staff, his second season on the roster after four years at Syracuse. Never really found his footing there, but was a highly regarded player out of Florida in high school. I like the way he runs behind his pads. And you can't teach 230, all right? That's, that's a thump, right? And you see how he took the... The tackler with them for an extra yard and a half, that gets you excited if you're an offensive coordinator. They want to establish the running game first. Here's a little flip, some trickery to the other back, Jalen Benefield. He's cut down, however, by Jordan Gandy. Yeah, I mean, you see, this is the speed here. This is the Panthers are starting to adjust to the speed of the guys in red. All right, you know, this is the FBS FCS matchup. It's FBS for a reason. Watch the team speed on these reverses. This is normally a nice play, but when you got guys who can turn and run on defense just as fast as the ball carrier and they're taking angles, this is what you get, right? And, and, and if you're the ball carrier, you're thinking, uh, you know, I don't want too much more of that now. These guys stayed home and they bought the wood when they got there. So third and long now for the Panther offense. O'Brien has to be smart with the football.
They hand it off. Benefield, a burst up the middle. And on third and 11, they get out near the 45. A huge burst from the sophomore out of Texas. I love the call by Joe Davis. Spread him out. Make him think quick game. Make him think trying to get to the sticks in the pass game. But here's the captain. And they pull their own guys around. You get a hat on a hat, a missed tackle in the backfield. And this Benefield can go down. I mean, they like him a lot. He's more of an every down back. He can get it gun in the passing game, but he's also a really shifty runner as well. And you saw that. You get him in open field, he can make some things happen. They keep Benefield in the backfield. He suffered an injury right before fall camp a year ago then came back and played the final four games. So he was excited to get out there today. Barging his way ahead over that Northern Illinois logo. Those are the kind of plays you need. Third and 11. Yeah. A little burst up the middle. Yeah. And then and look, two or three yards on first down, that's not bad. That keeps you on schedule. And what I like about number three, I mean, he, they have him listed as 160 pounds. But do you see him run through that line? Right. That's a commitment to run through tackles. What was the word they used to describe him? Lightning? <laughs> that's right. Lightning, yeah. 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 To, to Pierre's Thunder, right? They've got, mm -hmm. they've got a really nice tandem that do different things, but together they make a nice running game. Speaking of the tandem, they're both on the field right now. Justin Thomas, the wideout at the bottom of the screen, is going to be a key piece today as well. O'Brien goes to the air, looks the opposite direction, flush. It's the sideline trying to keep it alive with his legs. Ultimately made something out of nothing there on second and seven. Uh, you got to be careful there. I mean, I, look, I, I like the kid's effort. But you better be smart when you're trying to cut it back against a defense that runs this hard. Look all the red jerseys pursuing. Look out here now. <laughs> and you better have ball security when you're spinning. Because I've seen so many times guys spin off and boom from the inside. He lived to tell it, tell about it right there. But you got to be careful with young quarterback. There's a lot of speed in that red out there. So once again on third down here, converted last time on third and 11. And they do it again here. The offense looking to the sidelines. And here now there's the play call based on the defensive formation. They feel like they know what's what's coming. It's like man coverage. Got a timeout, I believe. Or is it delay? Five yeah. remains. So not where you down. want a delay of game penalty to happen. No. And that, that might force a punt. We'll have to see, but Chris Wilkerson in his first game as head coach for his alma mater, Eastern Illinois. Yeah, because see that to me that was two down territory, right? If you pick up at least half of that, you can go for on a fourth down. You still might get the first on third down, but I, I think that was two down territory. You're trying to, to to get a big upset on the road, and that penalty right there just takes the two down territory out of it unless you pick up a big chunk here. They go with three receivers in this set. O'Brien to the sideline. That's a catch. That's hauled in. We'll see if they call it complete along the sideline there. First down. Dwayne Cooks Jr. made the grab. And they are going to call it a first down. Love so the that's route. Back to back. How about back to back third and 11 conversions and, here? And they're not getting a lot of pressure. And, and what I'm seeing from O'Brien is when the pocket's clean, he can do it. You see him stab and come back. You see him bend that route back to the ball. You just don't go straight flat 90 degrees. When you stop that DB, he, his feet stops. And when you turn back, bend it back to the ball take away all angles for a pass breakup or an interception. Rolling on the previous play was of a catch for a first down. Previous play is under review. So they're going to review that last catch. It was Dwayne Cooks Jr. who made the grab. He's one of the guys who maybe we didn't expect to see today, but Isaiah Hill, their leading receiver from a season ago, was out. So the options are limited. We'll see if it is indeed a catch when we come back. One bite of 100% Angus beef ballpark frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. The magic is...
is calling you to a celebration 50 years in the making where the worlds you love shine like never before. Join us for the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Celebration. Put your hands in the air Like you just don't care Back with my bestie Kids can't be kids when their clothes don't fit right, and the same goes for their nighttime underwear. That's why Good Nights has large and extra large sizes to comfortably fit older kids the way they should. Good Nights, more sizes for a comfy custom fit. Pizza Hut's got two mediums for just $6.99 each. That's less than a dollar a slice. Got two more slices. So much pizza. <laughs> My pizza. What? Carry out two medium one topping pizzas for just $6.99 each. No one out pizzas the Hut. So you need something super Dad's work. Meet daughter's playtime. Wait till you hear this. Thankfully, MetaPortal helps reduce background noise. Zero waste model. Adjusts to low light. Oh, it seems far out. And pans and zooms to keep you in frame. Take a look at this. So the whole team stays on track. Okay, let's get some feedback. MetaPortal, the smart video calling device that makes work from home work for you. So the play will stand. So look at it here, Tayoka. We're going to see where the feet are when he makes the catch. Yeah, and, and where the ball is, because I think that they're looking to see if it's a completed catch, first of all, and then is the spot right. And it's where the ball is when he goes out of bounds. And, and I think it's close enough, but the bottom line is the call on the field was that it was a completed catch for first down. If you don't see anything that makes it 100% sure that the call on the field was wrong, you got to let it stand. That's the rule. And so I think that's the right call from the booth. And again, Dwayne Cooks Jr. filling in for the injured Isaiah Hill, who led this EIU group in receiving yards a year ago. That ball slips out of the hands of O'Brien, had to scoop it back up and just heaves it out of bounds. So they avoid disaster there. One of those potential mistakes that you can't make if you're the Panthers and today. So often, Jason, you see young quarterbacks try to do too much in that situation. All right. And you say, look, that's a big play to me. You're on the road against the favorite. Don't try to do too much yet. Yeah, you got to take your chances, but this is not the time. Just throw it out of bounds, right? He gets out of the tackle box. It's no longer intentional grounding. Throw it past the line of scrimmage, and look, we'll go second and 10. I'm wondering, are they trying to decide was he outside the tackle box, but there's a, there's a, there's a little huddle in the middle of the field with the officials. Is this one of those live reviews that the the booth told us about yeah that is true they can make the, the live reviews now has to be made before the next snap essentially to keep the game going as opposed to stopping it as often as we have in the past There's some rules around that and our referee today is Greg Sujak play stand I think Look, I'm not tail end of that call to the play stands. Okay, yeah, you're better liberated than me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's the right call. Again, you got to get outside the tackle box as we're the initial lineup of the two offensive tackles. If you're even or past them as a quarterback, intentional grounding is no longer a problem as long as you get the ball across the line of scrimmage, and he did that. First time we've seen an empty, empty. backfield yeah. for Jonah O'Brien here. Ball's got to come out quick. It does. Underneath, it's caught by the tight end, Anthony Manavez. I like to line him up as a wide out. Third down comes up here. This is an EIU drive that is consisted of two third and 11 conversions. And what I like is the offensive line is really holding up well, right? And they're not getting a lot of pressure on O'Brien. He's able to survey the field, and he's not doing, he's doing a good job of not holding onto the ball, right? And when you go empty like that as a D lineman, that was high alert to get your hands up because the ball is going to come out quick. That didn't happen there. He's seeing through throwing windows. He's making accurate throws. They bring Niall Hill in motion. 
O'Brien back to pass again, All dumps alone. it off, caught by Benefield, streaking down the sideline. The third different third down conversion on this drive for the Panthers. And that's that every down back that we talk about. Look, Pierre's a starter, right? But number three, Jalen Benefield, he's going to get the majority of the snaps because he keeps them so balanced and he's so efficient in the pass game. Look at the speed run out. You better have a guy running right now because this guy can go, right? Gives them an extra dimension in the pass game. There's another guy that you have to account for, and he's a matchup problem for linebackers. Wow, this is a gutsy drive. It's eating up some clock now. They go back to Benefield, working his way for about a yard, cut down by Daver and Rayner. Nice play by Rayner. When you're the free hitter, we talked about it. You're going to see it over and over. When you're the free hitter, you got to make the play. Your, your teammates are counting on it. There's a lot of guys in red getting blocked because they're doing their responsibility. And usually, in seven and eight-man fronts, you're going to have one guy. And that one guy can make the play. The defense looks good. If one guy misses it, it looks really ugly. Northern nice job Illinois. by number nine. Excuse me, Jason. Northern Illinois defense look a little tired to you right now? Well, I, I don't think they look tired. I think they're a little wondering. I mean, they, they're looking around going, oh, is it pass or run? Because Joe Davis is mixing it up. I think they don't know where the ball's coming from right now. Back to the air this time, looking for Hill down the sideline. Out of the reach, in on the coverage that time. It was Gandy. He's got to go with the 50-50 ball down the sidelines. You see C.J. Brown. Boy, I love him as a football player. This is the area of the field where you see a guy like this, understanding formation, understanding tendencies. You might see him jump a route, get his hands on the football. He's the all-max safety. This is where he comes up big, getting close to that red zone when he's playing close to the line of scrimmage. Three third down conversions on this drive for the Panthers. Can they find one more? They find Justin Thomas in the flats, got a couple of blocks. And Thomas squeaks down inside of the 20, near the 15. Can't say enough about the job Joe Davis is doing. He's mixing it up. You don't know what's coming. <laughs> I'm just telling you, as a defender, you, it really makes it hard if you can't get a real bead on what they're trying to do and how they're trying to attack you. And, and I, you talked about this. this. This is a new coaching staff, right? And you can try to go back and watch D3 film to figure out what they're going to do. But there was a little bit of an unknown, right, about how they were going to attack them. And, here you see early going forward on fourth down. I love the aggression. You got to be aggressive. You can't be scared to win a game on the road against a heavy favorite. They're going to talk this over. It is a big decision coming up. Fourth and four. Like you said, Tayoka, this is on the road. Week one, trying to pull off an upset that not many people think you can pull off. You think this is the right decision? I do, because you know, we haven't talked about it yet, but that's one of my keys for the Panthers. You got to shoot your shot. Yep. You got to break tendencies, go for it on fourth down, right? Trick plays, be creative in special teams, whatever's going to take, right? You didn't come here just to compete. And they talked about it. We came to win the football game. Now, listen, the OVC is where they're going to make their hay, right? They're going to try to get into the FCS tournament, win or lose. So you got nothing to lose, right? Go for it, man. Shoot your shot. Do different things, keep them on their heels, and so far, so good. Three straight one-win seasons for Eastern Illinois, trying to get this program back to where it was in the late 90s when Chris Wilkerson was an assistant coach. They had four FCS playoff appearances, a couple of conference championships. They are going to come out and take the points here. Oh, man, go for it. To the disappointment of Tioga <laughs> Jackson. So Stone Galloway. On to attempts, the 34-yarder. It is good, so the Panthers are on the board. You taking a four-point game at the end of a quarter here if you're with the Panthers? No complaints. Look, I, I would rather him go for it, but, you know, I think that's what the time I was about. Chris Wilkerson was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute now. We're in range. Let's take the points. But I, I just feel like you have to... Be aggressive if you're trying to win the football game, which they obviously are. But I think it's going to take something a little extraordinary to make this happen because you're outgunned, right? You have a couple of FBS players on your roster. Well, NIU, all their players are FBS, right? So you know you have a talent deficiency. You have to be on your keys, on your fundamentals, know what you're doing. But then the coach has got to be aggressive, too, to give you a shot. That drive started way back on their own 28 for the Panthers. 
Eight up a little over seven minutes there, resulted in a field goal. That's a good solid drive. It really is, and, that, and again, one of my keys for NIU was don't give up big plays. Because in this stadium, where they win over 72% of their games, most offense can't, offenses can't sustain drives. Well, guess what? The Panthers just did that, right? So they said, Tioga Jackson, take your key and throw that in the trash. We came to play today. Came down to a few different big third down conversions, third and long conversions, too, yeah. for the Panthers. Stone Galloway back out to kick off here. Mason Blakemore and Cole Tucker back to return. This is deep into the end zone and out of the back of the end zone with 20 seconds left in what's been an entertaining first quarter of action on this Thursday night, week one, college football is back. Tayoka Jackson, Jason Ross Jr., our awesome crew on hand here in DeKalb. Rocky Lombardi and the NIU offense set to trot back out. I think if you're NIU, you just go back and be who you are. There would be nothing better than a nice, long, physical, clock-draining drive to get this team in white tired and a little beat up. And obviously finishing in an end zone will help too. Early on, they had the big drive comprised mostly of runs on the ground from Harrison Whaley. One of them went, went for 51 yards. They go back to the ground here. It's Mason Blakemore, who they call the most elusive back out of the trio. Yeah, they've got, they've got dudes in help. They've got guys playing the running back position. And you know, let's be honest, with this offensive line, Jason, I think I might be at an average 3.0 a carry. I don't know, I man. I can see that. I'm just saying. But again, you saw a hat on a hat. You saw guys getting to the second level. Really good execution of blocking up front. You average in the three yards a carry now or year 12 in the NFL? Uh, man, I think I can get 3.9 now? now behind this offensive line. <laughs> we still got a season to go. We'll find out. It's just getting underway here in DeKalb. A fun college football season kicking off week one. Huskies up 7-3. One bite of 100% Angus beef ballpark frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Become an Exxon Mobile Rewards Plus member today. Download the Rewards app to earn points for every dollar spent at the pump and in store. Redeem your points on fuel, snacks, car washes, and more. Become a member today. Terms and conditions apply. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. Childhood shouldn't be spoiled by bedwetting. Good nights have 40% more protection versus leading training pants. So kids can wake up awesome. Awesome days start with good nights. Electrified. Hanguk Tire. This? This is supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity. It's fast. So gaming with your niece has never felt more intense. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, oh, uh... Unbeatable internet, only from Xfinity. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan.
7-3 start for Northern Illinois after one quarter of play. An entertaining quarter of play. You see the sun beginning to set. We're in DeKalb, Illinois, Northern Illinois University, Husky Stadium, the site of this week one matchup. This Northern Illinois group trying to back up what they did a season ago, winning the MAC championship. Rocky Lombardi was the QB in this that season. He's back this year. So is Harrison Whaley, the veteran running back of the group. They call him the, the calming factor. Talked about that historic turnaround. 0-6 oh, in, in 2020 became the first team in FBS history to go from a winless season to a conference championship season. It's hard to do. I mean, hey, those are the same guys in uniform who did it, right? Same coaching staff. There were a lot of people wondering if they had the right head coach wondering if they got the right players well if you know, there's something you said about being consistent going to work every single day even when it's not fun it'd be funny how you keep putting the work and you get better and hey how about doing it with the the second youngest roster in college football a year ago at the fbs level pretty incredible here's ontario brown he's still pretty young finding a crease and finding a first down ontario brown one of the players you expect to see frequently in the running game was a true freshman a year ago you don't hear that uh, as often nowadays, but at 75 yards, that MAC championship game we just talked about. Yeah, a very explosive runner. And they said he trimmed down. He cut the body fat down, and you see he runs hard. And he's got some speed if he gets in the open field, but I like him because that size, speed combination, 218 pounds. He's compact at 5'10. And again, he's tremor. He was above 225. Now you see, and he's got a little wiggle. Has showed early in his career that he can be that home run hitter. You talked about the big burst. As Northern Illinois trying to get back to their identity, creeping inside of Panther territory here after a lengthy EIU drive to close out the opening quarter that stretched out about seven and a half minutes. This is what they do. They like to run plays. They like to run clock. We talked about their rushing attempts is as many as anybody that is not an Armed Forces Academy, right? I mean, they don't run the triple <laughs> option, but boy, they run the football. Yeah, only the service academies ran it more than Northern Illinois last season. They go to the flats. Oh. That was nearly jumped. Ooh, Ooh it was jumped. See, had it red. That's Tyrese Harvey, the corner. That's film study right there, Jason. That's a guy who has watched film. He's alerted by the formation. You're playing zone. You see the ball being thrown. You go get it. He did everything right, right? The operation was a success, but the patient died. You got to catch the football. He did everything right. He could be on Sports Center for a touchdown pick six. These are the type of plays we talked about it early. You're going to have your opportunity, Panther football. You got to maximize those opportunities to pull off the upset. Tyrese Harvey, one of the returning corners for this Panther defense, had Ooh. green grass in front of him, too. <laughs> Brings up third down, though, for Got Northern it. Illinois. Down the sideline oh, they man. go. There are flags flying. It was Russell Dandy in on the coverage there against Cole Tucker. The Northern Illinois fans like what, mu what might be coming here. Yeah, and our super producer, Stas Hall, said he didn't turn around. Well, guess what, Stas? You don't have to turn around if you don't have your hands on a receiver. If you're going to have your hands on a receiver, you better turn around. Right? And there's a lot of hand fighting there. And if you're going to make that contact turn they won't throw the flag if you don't turn that yellow laundry is coming out and it's hard to play db in this day and age don't get me wrong yeah see there's a lot of contact there you can't you, you can't impede the receiver's progress with your hands like that you great position don't don't need to touch them you know win the battle with your position then you don't have to turn around and man coverage that's such a tough position to be in as a corner. It really is. I, I, look, I can I talk don't about it. that position. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to do. It's, hard. it's easy to talk about. It's hard to play DB in this day and age. As a corner, it's kind of like don't go unnoticed as much <laughs> as you can. That's right. Put the bunch formation at the bottom of the screen. They bring Mason Blakemore back in at running back. Hand it off Ooh. to him. He gets stuck up the middle. That's a lot of penetration on defense. And this is what it's Eastern Phoenix Illinois are getting in there. Yeah, this is what they excel at doing it, right? At doing it. They were as good a team at TFLs in the OVC as there was. And that, see, that, that's a linebacker playing downhill. You, you don't sit back and wait, right? He evades the lineman, dips his shoulder, gets in the backfield. You should celebrate. You deserve it. That's a heck of a play. 
He's one of your guys you don't see on yeah. too deep. He's one of the depth guys. Yeah. Stepping in there. I like it. For a very young Eastern Illinois team comprised of 80% underclassmen. Mm. Lombardi drops back to pass this time and has a connection with Shamar Thornton. Brought down by Tyrese Harvey, but not before a first down gain. Nice route. Really good timing. You know, Thornton's the guy. Can he be the big play threat that they lost with the injury to Trayvon Rudolph? They're going to find out. Mason Blakemore also wow. a big play threat. Breaking tackles and finding the end zone for a Northern Illinois touchdown. Boy, do they have some special backs at NIU. That's your third stringer, right? Watch this. Watch the slick move to cut it back. And watch the power at the end. Boom! But you, you better bring your arms, right? These guys are scoring. They're looking to score, right? Nice job. Long play. We talked about the long drive, right? This is exactly what NIU needed. Eight plays, 75 yards for a touchdown. They get back to their identity and start off the second quarter with a statement. From the air to the ground game, Shamar Thornton made his first catch in an NIE uniform, then Mason Blakemore capped off the drive with a touchdown on the ground. Our Hillshire Farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor, then double seal every slice for freshness. The results? They speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Tire. Childhood shouldn't be spoiled by bedwetting. Good nights have 40% more protection versus leading training pants. So kids can wake up awesome. <laughs> awesome days start with good nights. Here's what you expect from your wireless plan. But at T-Mobile, this is what you get. And so much more. Like a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Netflix on us. With T-Mobile, get benefits that add up to more than $225 in value each month. Switch now and get a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and even more. Only at T-Mobile. Pizza Hut's got two mediums for just $6.99 each. That's less than a dollar a slice. Got two more slices. So much pizza. <laughs> My pizza. What? Carry out two medium one topping pizzas for just $6.99 each. No one out pitches the hut. Eight plays, 75 yards. NIU showcasing the balance on their offense to go up 14 3 early stages, second quarter. They say the NBA is a make or miss league. Look at 91. Gotta make it. Now he got held a little bit. But Jordan Miles, you had an opportunity for a TFL, and what I love here, Mason Blakemore runs through people. They told us he was the elusive guy, right? The open field guy. Well, right there, he was the power guy. He's 215 pounds now. I mean, he is not a pencil with no lead. He's got something behind him. I like it. You calling me a pencil with no lead? Yes, sir. That I've seen those skinny legs. I, okay. Yeah, I, they, I still got an entire season to build them up. <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, well, there's a weight room before games this year. Let's go to dinner, right? I can get you thickened up a little you bit. You wouldn't go to breakfast with me this morning. Right. I, listen, I'm trying to do some intermittent fasting. That way I can eat what I want for dinner. I so, like that strategy. Yeah, it works. We can carry that throughout the season, too. <laughs> Well, that. NIU, meanwhile, their strategy is working. They're averaging just under eight right. yards per carry on the ground right now. Eastern Illinois... At three points put on the board in a late first quarter drive that ate up a little over seven minutes. 
in a fourth and four decision, you yeah. still probably think they maybe should have gone for it there? I do. Just because this offense, once it gets humming for NIU, it can be tough to stop. So every time you get an opportunity and you're close in the, in the green zone, maybe not only in the red zone, but in the green zone, so let's say the, the, the plus 30, you got to keep it going, right? And so we talked about what NIU needed to do in that last possession. But the Panthers right now, they need their own nice long drive. But it's really important they change the scoreboard. you got to put points on the board right now to stay within contact of this team. Don't forget the near what would have been a pick six for Harvey as well. Oh. That, speaking of interceptions, that is picked off by Eric Rogers, one of the vets on this NIU defense. Yeah, I mean, that was a veteran move. Boy, he came off his primary receiver, read the quarterback's eyes, and jumped right into the lane. They faked the swing pass, trying to manipulate number 12, trying to fool him. Watch the swing pass. Watch the shoulder from the quarterback. See that right there? He thought it was going to be there because it was there in practice. Mm. Right? But number 12 has discipline. Right? Eric Rogers said, nope, you're not throwing it to the flat, and I can stay back and come up and make that play. I'm going to back off, get in the throwing lane, and pick the football. What I like most about that play is he didn't drop it. Right? You get your opportunity, get your hands on the ball as your defender, catch the football. Eric Rodgers was excited for this opportunity today. He started the first five games of last season, but then missed the rest of the year with an injury. So they told us he's just getting back into a routine. His routine looks pretty good out there. One interception. Watch out for the NIU taking a shot. Excuse me, Jason. Lombardi goes over the top. Speaking of a deep shot, that is broken up. Had intentions for Shamar Thornton, the newcomer from FIU. Well, listen, I'm not Nostradamus. I just played a lot of football. And I understand that offensive coordinators know the moment it's situational football you get a turnover especially this area on the field go ahead and let's try to capitalize on it and demoralize the uh, the opponent and so you're going to go for the long throw 50 50 ball great coverage you want to see the team in white you want to come down with that ball if you get your hands on it look at that go high point it almost was a pick and almost was a touchdown that's good that's good against good right there good play both teams and I, you had Coach Thomas Hammock told us, I think teams are going to stack the box against us. We have to be able to take shots over the top. That was the first deep one we've seen today for the Huskies. 100% run here. Back to the identity. Back to yardage on the ground. Back to Ontario Brown. He's into the end zone. Yet another NIU touchdown on the ground. I played some football again. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you I'm old. Played a long time, right? That's a two-play drive for 35 yards and a touchdown. But when you go incomplete pass on the first down and you're a running team, you know they're going to run the football. The Panthers have to know this is a run coming up. And you just had a hat on, hat on the hat right there. Nobody was home. Look at the blocking. Where's the free defender? Well, he's a safety, and the angle isn't good enough because Ontario Brown, Ontario Brown, excuse me, can run. He's just a sophomore. 5'10", 218 is explosive. That's a big time run by number one. 35 yards to Pater. And he keeps up this ground and pound lead for the Huskies offense. A statement from Brown and a 21-3 lead. Our Hillshire farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor. Then double seal every slice for freshness. The results? They speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Ion. Electrified. Hunguk Tire. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 limited edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. 
This? This is supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity. It's fast. So gaming with your niece has never felt more intense. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, oh. Uh. Unbeatable internet, only from Xfinity. We're celebrating 50 years of Popeye's signature chicken with a deal you'll love. Now for just $6.99, takes 50 years of crunchy, juicy chicken we've been serving since 1972. Get the five piece while you can for just $6.99. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Evening turning tonight on the campus of Northern Illinois University in a 21-3 lead for the Huskies. All three touchdowns coming on the ground, last of which was a 35-yarder from Ontario Brown. There's the head coach, Thomas Hammock. He told us that, you know, there were maybe some critics around their MAC championship season a year ago because all six MAC wins came by one score. He said, it's kind of interesting to me that people would bash a season like that that was comprised by a team that had the second youngest roster in the FBS because you need good coaching if you have the second youngest roster in the FBS. There's no question. And he said that, you know, the narrative around is, hey, they got lucky. And I don't know how you get lucky with a young team like that, right? And, and I understand, look, they, they won five games by two points or less or overtime. So to the untrained eye, yeah, that looks like, look, to me, that looks like a well-coached, disciplined football team who makes plays when it need, when they need to and when it matters the most. Ended the season with a six-point loss to Coastal Carolina, a really good Sunbelt program in the tail greeter Cure Bowl, but that came after the big 41-23 win over Kent State in the MAC championship. The group that had a lot of success playing the type of football we've watched through a little over a quarter so far. Fourth in the nation in rushing yards per game. Last season, they already have 146 on the ground today to 25 for Eastern Illinois. So we'll see if the Panthers, who need points on the board, as Tioka mentioned, can get something rolling here. Don't know O'Brien. Hands it off, Ooh. looking for the edge. Pierre gets knocked out of bounds hard along that sideline. And that's the speed of the Husky defense. You see guys that play corner that they want to do more than just cover people, right? They want to come up and support the run. Beat blocks on the outside, one-on-one -on -one tackles. That was a point of emphasis by Coach Hammock. He said, I want to see us tackle. It's always every coach is worried about tackling coming out of training camp because you can't do a whole lot of it. You don't want to risk injury, especially in this day and age where there's not a whole lot of hitting. And one of the things that suffer suffers the most is the tackling. But right now, the Huskies have shown they come to tackle today. It's Daver and Rayner who laid the wood there. Now O'Brien's under pressure, has to step up and started sliding. Nick Routine took him to the ground. The Panthers are looking for a call. That slide this year is supposed to be called down when the back itself starts to lower as you're going down in the past. We've said the, when the slide begins, that's where the yardage is made. Yeah, he's got to get down quicker, though, Jason. See, that's a nice job of staying alive. Now tuck that ball away. Now get down now. I mean, you don't see that's a young player. Your team needs you healthy. And so that half a yard that you're trying to squeeze out, I, I love the competitiveness. But you got to play the next play. You can't take too many hits like that. He'll figure it out real quick. That brings up third and four, a completion to Niall Hill, and it's enough for a first down. They picked up six on third and four. Love the route combination. They ran a scissors action. The slot receiver breaks to the outside as the outside receiver breaks inside. You get a little rub, which is basically a pick, but legal. You get an opportunity to catch the ball in the open field for a first down. A little tempo here from the yeah, Panthers. Really speeding it up a little here. Up the middle to the running game they go. Merging out of the pile is Marquenzi Pierre. What you see is Joe Davis understanding that he needs to give himself, his team, a, a spark, right? And one of the ways to do that when things aren't working well, when you just line up, you, you sort of begin to play around the tempo. And this time you see here, it's no huddle, but they're not going fast. So they're going to keep changing that, that tempo up, keep the defense guessing. But most important is you got to block, catch, and run. The fundamentals are going to get you there. Let the coach play around with some of the formations and stuff, but the, the players ultimately have to do their job. Three receivers this time for O'Brien. They it's go cut. back to the ground game. Good chunk there. Brings up third down as they went back to McKenzie, Marquenzie Pierre. 
like the big back there cutting it back. He showed some feet right there. You see a lot of big backs and short yarders, excellent short yarders. They go barrel into the line. They just want to get there one or two. He showed some vision, vision and cut back ability with a two foot jump cut back to the outside to pick up a couple extra yards. That brings up third down here. Eastern Illinois has had some success in this position so far. Four third down conversions in the game. Can they find a fifth to keep this drive alive? Can NIU show us a pass rush? They haven't really gotten there yet. Empty backfield for O'Brien. Dumps it off to the sideline. Ball is caught. Jalen Benefield, the running back, in for Markenzie Pierre that time, makes the grab, and now yet another third down conversion. So this is what we know about the Husky defense from last year. They give up yards now. You can move the ball, right? They don't have an unbelievable pass rush. They dialed up a blitz on that, 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 that last play. Left guys one-on-one. -on -one. There's some money to be made on the outside if you can get that ball out of your hands. I think what made them a championship team is, again, they rose to the occasion and they played good defense when they had to. And that's really important, but they don't get a lot of turnovers, and you can move the football on them. And didn't get in the backfield a lot last year either, as you mentioned. Just 11 seated today. O'Brien nice. comfortable enough to make the pitch and the catch from Dwayne Cooks Jr. there. So Eastern Illinois all of a sudden moving the football again. Second time they've been in NIU territory. I'm liking what I see from number six. You give him time, but he can play. Look at those yards. See, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, you get 452 yards a game. I mean, that's a lot. They're going the wrong way. That's a that's a bad trend. I mean, look, look at that right there. 566 yards in losses. So, again, you can move the ball on these guys, right? And if you're in IU, you want to see improvement in this area. To get back to the championship game, their defense has to match their offense. That's going to be hard to do. But if I'm a defender on this team, that's what I'm thinking. Wow, 33.7 points per game last season did this NIU defense. But consistently matched it with good offense led by that running game. A little confusion here. One thing you mentioned Joe Davis there in the tempo for this Eastern Illinois offense. Something you can maybe sacrifice with a young team when it comes to tempo is execution. So we'll see if they can execute when we come back. 6.53 to go in the second quarter. Our Hillshire farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor. Then double seal every slice for freshness. The results, they speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. At Duracell, we're obsessed with bringing a better battery to life. New Duracell with Power Boost ingredients helps this mobile spin longer. And the longer this mobile spins, the longer you have to snag a power nap. If RPMs raise your BPMs, <laughs> If the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. Bryce, they let you off campus. What's going on, Tim? Because you know when I was the first ever sophomore to win the high school. What's up, Bryce? Go, 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 go. What's going on here? Just a little friendly competition, you know. That's cute, Derek, but the competition was reps. Just can't read this guy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. For your destiny. Defensive coordinator Nick Benedetto for Northern Illinois trying to halt this current Eastern Illinois drive. He's the co-defensive coordinator. Derek Jackson also works in tandem with him. Benedetto works with the corners a lot on this defense. A pretty well-balanced attack from Eastern Illinois when they have moved the ball successfully. Third down has been big for them so far. Yeah, and that's that's what 
when you pull your head, uh, hair out if you're Derek Jackson and Benedetto, you can't but give up these third down conversions. O'Brien flushed here, hadn't seen a lot of pressure, eluded that initial pressure. There are flags down. He goes sliding down. We'll see where this is called. It's kind of back in that holding zone. Yeah. yeah. And what I like there, you, you got a little rush right there from the Huskies. And generally, when you're aggressive and you get a good pass rush, you force penalties like that from the offense. Holding number 67 offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot remains first down. Yeah, I think they got Chad Strickland here, the left tackle. Let's watch on the right side of your screen, number 67. See, so you got a looper coming out, number 10. Let's see if he gets that hold the yep, He's got the outside shoulder. He grabbed with that outside shoulder. Whenever you get your hands, Jason, outside onto the shoulder, outside of the framework on the inside, you can hold his offensive line as you keep those hands inside. The moment you get him outside, it's high alert for the official. When they see cloth pull, they're going to throw that flag. You're going to pull that cloth and grab a hold, but keep it inside in the chest area. And as a D-lineman, I can't believe I just explained to all the young players how to hold. I, mean, I, I can't believe I did that, but I, I got to do my job, right? I mean, uh, but that, that felt bad. That, that left a bad taste in my mouth. A little deception there. <laughs> but Chad Strickland is one of the more experienced players up front on a relatively inexperienced group for Eastern Illinois all around. So it brings up second and 17, one of those, those mistakes that you need to avoid if you're Eastern Illinois, especially in this situation, trying to come back here. Just inside of Husky territory. O'Brien looking back to the air. Pressure from O'Malley. Heaves it downfield anyway. And it's intercepted. That's Eric Rogers' second pick of the opening half. And that's, that's, that's one right there with a young quarterback he just can't throw it up for grabs I mean he wanted to believe he had a guy downfield but the coverage was amazing there was not one white jersey open he got like late pressure and he figured I'm just going to heave that thing and you, know, you don't want to do too much of that I mean that's, that's not going to win for you Good initial and then that late pressure he didn't see an open guy where's the open guy all I see is red jerseys covering white jerseys so he just threw it up I mean you can say hey it's just as good as a punt but no I want to take care of the football I want to do things the right way. I want to set the right habits. If they lose this game, their season's not over. Again, their, their whole thing is the OVC. Hey, you mentioned to me your days with Tampa, and then you went to the Rams, and you told me that you hated, as a defensive player, that the offense was kind of the identity of the team. Yeah. How about this NIU defense, a group that's known for their running game, kind of showcasing, hey, we're a key part of this team, too. And listen, they didn't get a lot of turnovers last year, right? And, and turnovers can erase a lot of bad ball. You take the ball away from the offense, you can give up yards and still win. And so that's one thing that they made a point of emphasis. They want to start getting more turnovers, getting more opportunities to this offense. And so right there, they came up big. Once you get your hands on it, again, they've shown. Once they get the hands on it, they catch the football. So now they're trying to push this pile and get out from underneath their own goal line there. Harrison Whaley, the running back, taking the carry and giving them some breathing. And so this is an advantage of being a running football team. When you have so many of these offenses that like to throw the football all around the field, right? They're finesse offenses. They don't even know how to come out of their own goal line. They can't line up and punish people on the way out. Well, NIU does this no matter where they are on the football field. So they feel very comfortable backed up because they're going to run their base offense, and you're going to have to tackle these hard running backs. Playbook opens up here a bit on second and four, but they do go back to Whaley. Little cut to the outside, looking for the edge. A flag goes down as he scoots ahead for another burst. See what they call here. A big holding call on that last Eastern Illinois drive. Hold it. 49. Oh. Now. They did get Brock Lampy, the fullback. I think what you see here now is, yeah, that's 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 23 personnel. You got two running backs, three tight ends. They're, they're going to mash people. You see a little holding at the end. Whenever you see a defender twerk, uh, excuse me, not twerk, I don't, not twerk, torque. <laughs> Let me get that right. You see a defender torque their body. That's going to draw the flag more often than not. 
Where'd that come from, Jason? It's opening week. All I don't right. know. You're a little excited. Let me put the chocolate down. I think I got a little too much caffeine going. Let me slow down a little bit. You got now. the Kit Kats in the booth. <laughs> it's getting us a little jittery. Speaking of jittery, it's Whaley again, scooting ahead and brought down by Jordan Vincent. So that's a good stop here for this Eastern yeah. Illinois defense. And it could potentially flip some field position, even though you essentially gave away the interception there. They almost turned into a punt. Like, and, and that's, stop it. that's right. I mean, that's what you defensively, that's what you want to do. You want to turn it into a punt, right? Or make them punt from backed up. So you still got one more down to go, but they're getting that penalty. That's where penalties, unforced errors, really can hurt an offense. And I think Coach Hammock is going to talk about that at halftime. Yeah, we're, we're winning potentially in the scoreboard at half, but there's some things we can clean up and play better in the second half. Big third and five here. Lombardi to the air for the first time on this drive. That's pinned back to their own goal line. He's going to be wrapped up and brought down. It's Braylon Willis who was the first man there. Braylon Willis gets the tackle. I don't think that was a sack, but he gets the tackle. But that's all coverage. Right? I mean, that was not a great pass rush. That's just a bunch of guys in the back half covering people up, and there was nowhere to throw the football. And the difference between the fifth year senior that we saw and then O'Brien was he didn't throw it up. Right? There's no need to just throw that football up. Be smart with the football. Right? Don't turn it over, and that late pressure will get home. Excellent coverage on the back half by the Panthers. We talked about it. You want them to punt back up, right? So now you have a chance. Maybe to change the scoreboard. We got three minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the half. Wilman calls a fair catch just inside of Northern Illinois territory. So this will be the third drive that has this one will start inside of Husky territory that has been inside of the Husky 50. And essentially, do you look at it as like a two-minute drill here? Yeah. I, I, well, and, and even though it's not on a, a two-minute drill in terms of the clock, yeah, that's your mentality. But it's not a hurry-up two-minute drill, right? Because you would like to score with 0-0 zero, zero on the clock, you know, effectively if you can. But what I, what I like about this opportunity, this is an opportunity for the NIU defense, right? If you're, you're trying to go back-to-back back MAC champions, you need to have a championship defense. And this is where championship defenses stand up and don't let your opposing offense into the end zone. Don't let them change the scoreboard. Step up, the offense struggle, last possession, you stand up and make sure that the score stays 21-3. And as much as this NIU defense from a season ago gets knocked a little bit because they allowed 33.7 points per game, you had to stand up in those big moments. They played a lot of close games last year. 3.14 to go in the second, holding a 21-3 lead. Look around the Mac. Akron knotted up with St. Francis of Pennsylvania. That's, that's crazy because Akron has lost six straight games, right? They're trying to get off the snide. They're trying to avoid to go 0-7, and, and they're getting all they can handle from St. Francis at home. Tennessee all over Ball State, down in Knoxville. Toledo up 20 to nothing on Long Island. Look at some of the Friday and Saturday games as well. Ohio and Eastern Michigan in action. Now that Akron group, as you mentioned, on a, a bit of a skid trying to avoid what would be considered an upset there. That St. Francis team started their season out at Eastern Michigan last year. Eastern Michigan won that game under the lights in Ypsilanti. Non-conference action, getting rolling. A lot of fun around college football this weekend on our family of networks. You look around the landscape, you've yeah. got uh, Notre Dame, Ohio State on mm -hmm. Saturday night. I know your Nittany Lions are going action right now. Right now yeah, against Purdue. Check that at half. Yeah, see what's going on. If they lose that game, boy, I'll never hit the end of it. I won't let you hear the end of that for the rest of the season. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Uh -huh. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for being there for you, boy. This Northern Illinois running game so far, you look at it, 18 rushing attempts, 155 yards on the ground so far. It's what we expected. It's what everyone expects around the country, but they do it to you anyway. Yeah, and it's a three-headed monster. I mean, look, look at the numbers. And the average per carry, it's pretty darn good. But when you got a bunch of guys, they can get it done. You're not hamstrung and you're not worried about injuries because you got you know you got guys to step up, right? You got guys who can play, make people miss, break tackles. But here's the number one key to it all: it's those dancing bears up front. If that offensive line stays healthy, stays together, boy, they're going to open up holes. And like I said, I can get 
I'm just telling you right now, I'm getting three point behind that line of scrimmage. I like to think of you as a dancing bear right now. You keep <laughs> saying that. I've never heard that before, uh, and you keep saying it, but well, I love it. Well, watch them play, man. They, they work in tandem. O'Brien quickly to the air. Nice block. Finds Justin Thomas trying to squeak his way through traffic. It'll be a short gain out of the break. Jordan Gandy took him down. Kyle Pugh in the mix as well. Well, Hill had a nice block on the outside. The problem was he got his guy. But when you play defense running to the football, it, just, it makes it feel like there's 12 or 13 players on the field. That's a great job of rallying out there. When you throw those bubble screens and tunnel screens on the outside, that's more about pursuit from the defense inside out. And you saw it right there by the guys in red. You love to hear that if you're a defensive coordinator. Pursuit swarming to the ball. Second and nine here. Back to the grounds go the Panthers. It's Markenzie Pierre, redshirt senior from Florida. Time winding down on this second quarter. Charge 21 to 3. We get a timeout called here. They're first. It will be 30 seconds. I like the call. I like, I like Chris Wilson stepping up and calling timeout minutes, because he knows seconds. if you stop them here, you can get the ball back for your offense and you'll have above two minutes to go. and try to score again. You can never have a much, enough points, especially in the first half. You're trying to score as much as you possibly can. I know it, 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 there's no secret there, right? You want to score as much as you possibly can. But the, the whole point is you want to put good stuff on tape, not only for your own players and their confidence, but you want to send messages. You know, tape can be very intimidating, right? You want to show playing hard regardless of the situation. We can't be stopped. We're going to dominate whoever we play. When, that, when you start stacking game one, game two, and game three like that, it can be very intimidating to your future opponents. Eastern Illinois has six first downs in this game. Five of them have come on third down. Here's a look around the Ohio Valley Conference where Eastern Illinois plays their football. You see Martin, one of the key programs in that conference. Eastern Illinois, the expectations aren't sky high this season, but they're trying to prove some people wrong. Empty backfield here for Jonah O'Brien. He is pressured, eludes the initial pressure, wow. goes downfield and has a connection. Down the sideline goes Justin Thomas inside of the 10. Wow, that is the sixth third down conversion in this opening half for the Panthers. And all due respect to Don Schaffner and Zach Weir. But if number six keeps playing like that, this job is his and his alone. They, they said he had three quarterbacks, but that's toughness. That's a guy who doesn't care. He's going to do whatever it takes for his football team. Two hands on the football, climb in the pocket, eyes downfield, takes the hit, and throws an accurate ball. So now first and goal for Eastern Illinois. You mentioned this would be big, and it feels like they need a touchdown here. A flag went flying early. When that snap came out, Markenzie Pierre brought down there by James Esther. We'll see what the call is here. You see they're going to be false start, which is no play. Or you're going to have all sides. That ball is right on the line. Did it look like it? potentially a false start? Here? Yeah. Formation. Too many men in the offense. Or excuse me, too many men in the backfield of the offense. Five-yard penalty. Illegal formation. Ah, well, that's an interesting. But well, didn't he do the? He did the, the false start movement with his hands. So I, the signal was throwing me off. But he probably was not a guy on the line of scrimmage who needs to be. So that meant you had a jersey who is not a receiver uncovered. So they did get a false start there. So it's a false start. Okay. Yeah. O'Brien pressured, and this time he will be brought down. Way back at the 20, James Esther in on the mix again. That's Ray Thomas as well. And that's where you start having defense being played property. You had great coverage, and then watch it tie up. He's now patting the ball. Now here comes the rush. See, that's what you want. When the initial receiver is not open and that quarterback starts to look around, you want the rush to get home. That's a nice job right there by NIU up front. And Esther's the captain. Ray Thomas, he brought his buddy with him. He liked to see multiple guys getting good pass rush. That's when you start getting, having a lot of fun in that D-line room when you watch the tape. This drive that was so promising for Eastern Illinois still could be, but they're backed up to the 20 now, going to the air. 
route was timed up well by the cornerback Jordan Gandy on the receiving end it's Cooper Willman but brought down probably see this is when you get we talked about Joe Davis mixing it up well, Benedetto and, and coach Jackson they're mixing it up right that they, they brought pressure that time so we've seen a good mix of four down playing coverage behind his zone coverage and now they're starting to mix in the blitzes this is when you get the offense guessing they don't know where it's coming from either they came away with three points earlier. They don't want to come away with three again. Jonah O'Brien to the air along the sideline. That may have been scooped up oh by Justin goodness. Thomas. Yeah, that's a nice play by Thomas. And that ball was put where it needed to be. Now they wound the clock now. Now you've been working on this all preseason. Hurry up field goals. Situational football. So they end up holding the clock down. I thought we were going to have one of those Hair on fire, fire drills. Clock never started. It's a 25 yarder for Stone Galloway that splits the upright. So they don't get seven, but they do trim it down to a two score game. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. At Duracell, we're obsessed with bringing a better battery to life. New Duracell with Power Boost ingredients helps this headlamp shine at its brightest for longer. And the longer this headlamp shines, the more interesting your stories become. Custom Ink helps to celebrate and drive our students' achievements with Custom Gear. They love Custom Ink's different styles and designs. We love how Custom Ink makes the process simple with their easy-to-use design lab, expert artists ready to help, and unbeatable customer service. Custom Ink allows our kids to show everyone their accomplishments and the pride they have in our school. When we place an order, I know they got our back, so we can focus on the kids. Custom Ink has hundreds of products to help you feel connected. Upload your logo or start your design today at customink.com. I'm John Quiz. My city is a lamb. I want people to know there's a lot of talent on the East. Stone Galloway quickly back out to kick off with just four seconds left on the opening half clock. Kyoka, you were thinking maybe a low kick here, but they do deliver it down. And feeling down there. I like the mortar kick action. It's not a squid. Right? You kick it low and hard down to about the 20-yard line. Make it, hopefully it bounces off somebody, but that'll give the opportunity once it's touched for the clock to run out. Now, obviously, if they're going to down the ball, probably makes it a point. But you just you've, I've seen crazy things happen in the half. You, you know, you got a little momentum. You scored a field goal. Did a nice job of clock management, getting it down. Thing crazy, but it all worked out. So look at it. Guy kneeling on the ball here. Rocky Lombardi does just that. Block management. It's kind of the name of the game for Thomas Hammock's NIU team. Their title of defense begins tonight, coming off a MAC championship a season ago. They have Rocky Lombardi back and several other key pieces. They're up 21-6 at the end of the first half here in DeKalb, Illinois. Opening week of the college football season is underway. One bite of 100% Angus beef ballpark frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. Very impressive. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. 
These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep and tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. Your run doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to be epic. And this one, this one does not have to be posted on social. Off campus. Let's go to our Because you know when I was the first ever sophomore to win the high school. What's up, Bryce? Go, 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 go. What's going on here? Oh, just a little friendly competition, you know. That's cute, Derek, but the competition was reps. Just can't read this guy. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go for your man. destiny! Let's go. Well, this resume is getting seen, just not by who you want. You need a better plan. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. An Indeed resume is more than a resume. It works harder for you, helping you edit and improve. And it gets you seen by the right people, all without having to do one dance move. Sunday Night Baseball, Sundays at 7 on ESPN. Season 2 of Eli's Places is now available on ESPN Plus with new episodes debuting each Wednesday throughout the football season. In episode 2, Eli explores the rich history of Notre Dame football with Irish passing leader Brady Quinn. Big brother Peyton also involved in Notre Dame football head coach Marcus Freeman joined to reflect on Newt Rockney's influence on college football. Just about touchdown Jesus, about fair catch Corby. I mean, are there some other ones? <laughs> there are some other ones. Are, so we, we, ones? we've got a first down Moses. Okay. You talked about fair catch Corby, touchdown Jesus. We obviously have a lot of statues. I thought you could see touchdown Jesus from the stadium. You not know? No? You used to be able oh, to, but back before when they before they built the second ring, you used to be able to look anywhere on the stadium and you'd see touchdown Jesus holding its arms up. But then with the renovation, now you can only see it really from that south end zone. And ironically enough, Notre Dame hasn't won a national championship since we did the renovation in the second level. So you're about to tear it back down. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I mean, I, I think we, we find a way of configuring this thing where we build so everyone can see it from the sides. But we keep this end and this end a little bit lower, but we just build up from there, right? That sounds, sounds cheap. <laughs> <laughs> One bite of 100% Angus beef ballpark frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me. The ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. 
With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Because you know when I was the first ever sophomore to win the high school. What's up, Bryce? Go, 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 go! What's going on here? Just a little friendly competition, you know. That's cute, Derek, but the competition was reps. Just can't read this guy. Come on! Let's go! For your destiny! All electric, with room for up to seven. It's the SUV electric has been waiting for. The all-new EQB for Mercedes-Benz. Hey, I'm Matt, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the freshly baked, flaky, buttery biscuit. When I take a bite, it's kind of like, you know, crispy, soft, crispy. Crispy outside, soft interior, crispy chicken. There's really nothing like it. I'm Alexa, and the little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the chicken itself. It is more than scrumptious. It is more than delicious. It is scrum diddly umptious. I know that's not a real word, but I love it. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone stealing a package from your porch? Like, are your kids home safe? She never knows where her kids are. Did you leave your stove on and your house is burning down? Is my house burning down? Where are my kids? Did my package get stolen? Are they okay? With up to 4K video resolution, advanced AI object detection, and emergency one-touch response, you can protect your everything with Arlo. The first college football weekend in DeKalb. 21-6 on a Thursday night. Huskies up on the Panthers. We'll have more coming up next, breaking down the opening half of action. One bite of 100% Angus beef ballpark frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Metaportal Go. Look professional. Even if you don't feel it. Metaportal. The smart video calling device. Right of course. That makes work from home work for you. Should we get started? Pizza Hut's got two mediums for just $6.99 each. That's less than a dollar a slice. Got two more slices. So much pizza. <laughs> My pizza. What? Carry out two medium one topping pizzas for just $6.99 each. No one out pizzas the hut. Free breakfast, anyone? Express yourself. Express yourself. You don't never need help from nobody else. All you got to do now. Impressive. Enjoy our free, fresh, hot breakfast any way you like. Only at Holiday Inn Express by IHG Hotels and Resorts. 
guys, they let you off campus. Let's go to our Because you know when I was the first ever sophomore to win the high school. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, Bryce? Go, 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 go. What's going on here? Just a little friendly competition, you know. That's cute, Derek, but the competition was reps. Just can't read this guy. Come on, let's go for your destiny! Gillette presents the Gillette Labs with Exfoliating Bar, a razor designed to take the hassle out of your routine with effortless shaving in one efficient stroke. The bar in the handle removes unseen dirt and debris that gets in the way of the blades. So nothing gets between you and a quick and easy shave. And you get it all with a lifetime warranty. Gillette, the best a man can get. We all have obstacles, challenges at different points in life. I still push myself every single day. And the harder I push myself, the, the more I find myself drawn to wearing UFOs. The first time I put on a pair of UFOs, it was like someone released the pressure. It was so crazy. When you are recovered and can do more, that has a compounding effect on all aspects of your life. Stepping into a pair of UFOs, they're truly one of a kind. There's nothing like them. Introducing the all-new Ego Power Plus Blower, reaching an incredible 765 CFM. It runs up to 90 minutes on a single charge. That's why Ego is the number one rated brand. Glad to have college football back on campus around the country. We're in DeKalb, 21-6 halftime lead for Northern Illinois. The Huskies trying to repeat as MAC champs this year, and the title defense begins today. Alongside Tayoka Jackson, I'm Jason Ross Jr. Pumped to have you with us. Tayoka, 19 rushing attempts for NIU in that opening half, 154 yards. It's what we expected out of them. Well, they are who we thought they were, right? right? They're gonna run the football. They've got a great offensive line. The quarterback hasn't had to do a lot. Rocky has been sort of sitting and tooling his thumbs. But when you're rushing for over eight yards a carry, that's what's going to happen. So I, I still maintain down the road against the better opponents, they're going to have to be efficient in the pass game. But today, it's all about the run. Eastern Illinois went six of nine on third down in an opening half. They, they moved the football, only resulted in six points, but some things to be proud of for the Panthers. There's no question. Right? They're going to have some things to build on, especially in the second half, right? They're not going to lay down. But again, it's not the end of their season if they lose this game. They're an OBC team, the FCS team. They want to get to the playoffs. But the bottom line is they've had their moments. That's something on film you can feel good about so far. Speaking of the film, when we take a look at some of the action from that opening half, you see the ground game on display here for the Huskies. Well, uh, listen, when you get down close, it's rock and sock and football. And NIU does rock and sock them as good as anybody. And this is what I'd like, a statement run by your third string running back. He's supposed to be an open field guy, show some power there. That's Mason Blakemore. There's Ontario Brown, who also found the end zone for the big touchdown. There are also two turnovers for the Panthers, both interceptions thrown by Joan O'Brien, both intercepted there by Eric Rodgers. Here's a look at the first half. Stats, anything to jump out to you? Well, the two turnovers by NIU. I, I can guarantee you the coaching staff, especially Thomas Hammock, is upset about that. And he's also upset at his defense giving up six conversions on nine attempts on third down. That's a problem. So. There are some teaching moments on both sides. NIU, believe me, if they get this win, they'll still have plenty to talk about and plenty of corrections on that film. Well, on the quarterback side for Northern Illinois, Rocky Lombardi is the vet who's returning his second season as a starter, a captain as well. 
you mentioned, he's been pretty calm and comfortable so far. What are you looking at, looking for him out of the second half? Well, being efficient when he, when he needs to throw the ball, football, be accurate with it. He's only had six attempts, right? I mean, you, you can play quarterback when all you have to do is hand it off, right? Even you can do it, Jason. I believe in you. But no, he's going to have to be efficient down the road. He's going to have to have his moments. Today, not so much. Down the road, he's really good at moments. He's got to be efficient throwing the football. And there's that dude I was talking about. Right, that's who you want in your leader. You want a guy that's going to be with everybody. He's an everyman guy. He is the unquestioned leader of this team. They voted him captain his first year, like you said. I like quarterbacks who get emotional and scream at the teammates like that. Ultra competitive is how <laughs> yes. he's been described. We'll see that competitive flair come out in the second half. It's coming up shortly. Our Hillshire Farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor, then double seal every slice for freshness. The results, they speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. I'm Andre, this is Yoshi, and this is Mingli, and we're one big happy family. <laughs> We're big believers on you are a product of what you put into your system. So we feed Mingling Blue Light Protection Formula. When I read the labels and I seen that it had chicken, salmon, brown rice, I figured this is going to be healthy enough for my Mingli, <laughs> for my baby. Blue may cost a little more, but our little girl is worth it. She's healthy, her coat is shiny, and that's what we want from Mingling. Tire. Kids can't be kids when their clothes don't fit right, and the same goes for their nighttime underwear. That's why Good Nights has large and extra large sizes to comfortably fit older kids the way they should. Good Nights, more sizes for a comfy custom fit. Coach, just plug it in. Gee, how about that? Guys, just pick it up. I don't like this thing. This? This is supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity. It's fast. So gaming with your niece has never felt more intense. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, ah. Unbeatable internet, only from Xfinity. Hey, I'm Jackie, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the chicken. It is golden brown, so juicy, so delicious. To all my fellow non-breakfast people, this chicken biscuit is something different. It's the perfect savory start to my day. Hi, I'm Gary, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Chicken Biscuit is that it's unexpected. I'm a big biscuit guy, but chicken for breakfast is delicious. You can taste all of the flavors just all at once. Once you try it, there's no turning back. We all have obstacles, challenges at different points in life. I still push myself every single day, and the harder I push myself, the, the more I find myself drawn to wearing UFOs. The first time I put on a pair of UFOs, it was like someone released the pressure. It was so crazy. When you are recovered and can do more, that has a compounding effect on all aspects of your life. Stepping into a pair of UFOs, they're truly one of a kind. There's nothing like them. All electric, with room for up to seven. It's the SUV electric has been waiting for. The all new EQB from Mercedes-Benz. Getting closer to more football here in DeKalb. A 21-6 lead for Northern Illinois over Eastern Illinois. FCS versus FBS opponents today, but it's been an interesting game so far. Eastern Illinois has had their opportunities, a near pick six. It slipped through the hands of Tyrese Harvey. They've been down in Northern Illinois territory multiple times, but only six points out of it. The drive that 
had a first and goal opportunity from Eastern Illinois last time they had the football. But again, only were able to get three points on the board. They'll receive to begin the third quarter, though. Try to pick up where they left off. Jonah O'Brien, the QB, making the start today for Eastern Illinois. An interesting story himself, walked on to this program back in 2019, played in just one game, then transferred to Colorado State before coming back to Eastern Illinois. He's a Wisconsin native, but finished out his high school career in the state of Illinois. So this is kind of like a second home for him, and he's back in business today. I've been impressed with his points. You know, everything hasn't been perfect for him, but what I see is a guy who, who the moment isn't too big for him. They were using three different QBs over the last few weeks in camp, but they want him to be the starter. They feel he's the guy. Arkenzi Pierre could be one of the guys that are running back this season, along with Jalen Benefield, who Again, missed time last year with injury. Mackenzie Pierre, very capable, as, we, as we've seen throughout the evening. Yeah, from Kissimmee, Florida, right near Orlando. I think he's going to be a load in OBC. He's going to be tough to handle. 235, uh, 235 pounds, 230 pounds or so. Running the way he runs with determination. Yeah, he, he's going to make his share of plays in conference. Second and short here. Haven't been a lot of second and short opportunities for this Eastern Illinois offense. They have five different third down conversions. And O'Brien keeps it, slides right near the marker. The, he's marked down where the slide began, so it's a yard short here, bringing up third down. No read option. Nice job of holding on to that football. It's, it's all about reading it with the quarterback. You gotta read it right in the read option, and he did. They plunge ahead behind that offensive line that's pretty experienced, and. They got enough. So we talked about Jono O'Brien and his journey over the last few seasons. Look at the timeline here. Again, just one game for Eastern Illinois back in 2019. Went to Colorado State. Now he's back in the blue. I think they found their guy. You know, I think they want him to be the guy. And he's showing so far that he's up to the task. It, the opponent won't always be this stout. So I'm wondering how good he can be when he goes against conference foes. The other two QBs are Dom Schaffner and Zach Weir for Eastern Illinois. They go back to the ground game here. Again, they've moved the football throughout the course of this game. Just a matter of capping it off with a touchdown. In their minds, though, maybe this game could be a little closer right now. Still just a two-score game. And a battle up front. Again, second and manageable here. They hand it off to Markenzie Pierre, cut down. Up the middle there, Ray Thomas in the mix to grab him, along with C.J. Brown, safety who led this NIU defense in tackles a season ago. What you're seeing is more of what the Panthers like to do. They like to spread you out. They like to play with formations and pre-snap movements. But what they're trying to do is create running lanes up inside by spreading your defense out. When they're at their best, they're running the football and play action off of them. Only Akron allowed more rushing yards than Northern Illinois a season ago defensively in the MAC. And go back to the ground game here, testing it on the edge. It's Jalen Benefield. He's their lightning strike in the words of the coaching staff. Tayoka, what are your, your early concerns about this NIU defense when it comes to defending the run? Well, I'm wondering if they're coming out of the locker room a little bit of sleep. Right? I, I don't see a defense with a lot of emotion. And, and now I'm seeing a hat on a hat in white, and this is your guy who bounces outside. And you can't lose leverage on the football. That's football one-on-one. -on -one. Outside defenders have to keep leverage on the ball. That time they lost it, and number three has some real speed. Yeah, Benefield finished second on the team in rushing last season. Despite only playing in four games, he reads things very well when it comes to seeing opposing defenses. Smart guy. Well, Coach Joe Davis, the, the offensive coordinator, said, we feel as good about our offensive backfield as we've ever felt as a, as a staff. These guys, they trust both of them, and they keep each other fresh, and there's some healthy competition between the two of them. You may be looking for a potential shot here through the air. Well, you just got to be smart. I, I like what you're doing through the ground. You know, but just keep mixing it up, but be smart with the football. Don't put it in harm's way. They like what they're doing, too, but the NIU defense had that one snuffed out from the get-go. 
You see C.J. Brown in there, Dave Haberman as well, Ray Thomas. Yeah, and, that, and that's how Dave Haberman coming in with a big TFL. That'll get you off schedule in a hurry. That's exactly what NIU needed was a negative play to make it third and long because that running game was starting to get humming for the Panthers. Now, this is where a quarterback can grow up. Can you throw the football when they know you want to throw it? And I use man coverage. Six third down conversions today for Eastern Illinois. That could not be scooped up off the turf from Justin Thomas. Incomplete. So brings up fourth and long here in kind of an odd position on the field. And he, he's pulling up limp. That calf is stiffening up on him. Might have a little bit of a cramp. Remember, Justin Thomas is the one slotting in to a larger role today with their leading receiver from last season, Isaiah Hill, out. We learned right before the game that he wouldn't play. You and I are both very disappointed about that. Yeah, he, he, he was their guy that could be the mismatch on the outside. But, you know, Justin Thomas had his man beat. Watch the top of the route. He's got space, but he, then he blows a tire trying to work back to the football. That could have been a completed pass in the first down. Unfortunately, pulled up a little gimp right there. But they had man coverage. You know, O'Brien read it properly and threw a catchable ball. 21-6 lead for Northern Illinois. The defense stands up in their own territory. Our Hillshire farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor, then double seal every slice for freshness. The results, they speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. Kids can't be kids when their clothes don't fit right. And the same goes for their nighttime underwear. That's why Good Nights has large and extra large sizes to comfortably fit older kids the way they should. Good Nights, more sizes for a comfy custom fit. Turn me on to something good. Coach, just plug it in. Gee, how about that? Guys, just pick it up. I don't like this thing. Tayoka, this might be the shoot your shot moment that you talked yeah. about earlier. Yeah, I mean, we thought it would, would come in the first half, but they've got two third 11 conversions. Why not see if you can get a fourth and 11 down this close? Eastern Illinois going for it on fourth and 11. Jonah O'Brien back to pass. O'Brien flushed, looking downfield. Northern Illinois has it sealed up, and he's brought down. So the fourth and 11 gamble results in a sack. Michael Kennedy, one of the veterans along the D-line, Chicago native, comes up big. Well, he's indecisive on the edge. You can't be indecisive against a hard pursuing defense like this. The coverage was good, but go ahead and tuck it and go. You got to make your decision right now. Go, 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 go. No, that's too much time. See, they look at pursuit. But that's, that's how you pursue, fly the football, and lay a lick when you get there. Nice job by NIU. Brings Rocky Lombardi back out. Second year as the starter for this Husky offense. And a captain again. Hands it off. Ground game we saw pick up well over 100 yards in that opening half of action. 154 to be exact. They're averaging about eight yards per carry right now. That one brought down around the line of scrimmage. You see the drives today for Northern Illinois. 
most of the touchdown drives pretty lengthy. They converted one off the interception from Eric Rodgers as well. And those two turnovers have been huge. They capitalized on them. You know, again, this is the time in the ball game where that offensive line begins to take over the game, impose their will, and make the other team sort of lay it down and quit. Not saying that the Panthers will. A quick dart to Shamar Thornton, who finds a first down. This is the speedy wideout and a new addition to the NIU offense. Just as you think, run, 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 third quarter with a lead, that's when you get the one-on-one -on -one coverage outside. And if you got athletes in space, just make one man miss and you got a big play. Nice stiff arm at the end, doesn't grab the face mask, no penalty. Nice finish, young man. Mentioned Eastern Illinois is without their leading receiver from a year ago and Isaiah Hill. Northern Illinois is without Trayvon Rudolph, likely for the season after suffering a non-contact injury in practice. He led this group in touchdown receptions a season ago, receptions and receiving yards. So that was a big loss, which is why it might be all the more important for guys like Shamar Thornton to step up this season. And on top of everything you just said, he's All-American punt returner. Oh, yep, that's <laughs> so too. Let's not that too. That. So yeah, that's a tremendous loss with his offense, and he would have been that mismatch on the outside. That if you dared to go man coverage, boy, he was always a threat to make you pay. Yep. But he's not here, right? You can't cry over spilled milk. This is football. Things happen. You'll have him for another two years, starting next year. Uh, but you got to, the guys who are suited up, you got to go with them and you got to find a way to get them to make plays. You could tell there was a bit of a shock when the injury initially happened. We spoke to the coaching staff, but he, they feel the team has handled it well. And it's a group that dealt with injuries a season ago and are out to winning the MAC championship and overcame them continuously. They go to the ground here with Ontario Brown. Little cut back up the middle. Beautiful move there from Brown. It's about the vision, right? Nice job. Stick his foot in the ground. And then changes his mind real quick. If I stick my foot in the ground and want to change direction, it's going to take two or three minutes. Or I might blow a knee out. Yeah, right? you, say, you, think you, could, you said you could gain three yards. Yeah, but I'm in straight ahead. I'm not cutting on anybody. <laughs> uh, this is Kalen Drakeford down on the Eastern Illinois defense. Not something we want to see. We'll check on him when we come back. Our Hillshire Farm craftsmen start the day slow roasting turkey for incredible flavor. Then double seal every slice for freshness. The results? They speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm. Made right on the farm. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Pizza Hut's got two mediums for just $6.99 each. That's less than a dollar a slice. Got two more slices. So much pizza. <laughs> My pizza. What? Carry out two medium one topping pizzas for just $6.99 each. No one out pizzas the Hut. All electric, with room for up to seven. It's the SUV electric has been waiting for. The all-new EQB from Mercedes-Benz. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. I just need him to be more attentive. It was one bad week. How am I supposed to live with someone who can't even set a lineup? She has me in six different leagues. It's a lot. Look at Thomas Hammock there, head coach of Northern Illinois. 
liked the work of this offense so far. He was uh, a back himself and loved to see the ground and pound game. His offensive coordinator, Eric Eitzness, is up top today in the booth. We spoke to him earlier this week and told us if you're solid up front, you have a chance in every game. But they also want to take shots this season. And when they lost Trayvon Rudolph, their leading wide out from a season ago, we were both kind of wondering who would be the one to step up in the world to make those receptions. Well, they, they think... Shamar Thornton has a chance to be an NFL receiver. Now, they like his size, speed combination, but there are going to be a bunch of guys who have their opportunities. And I'm, I'm just telling you right now, the other teams in the MAC aren't shedding any tears for him, right? I mean, they were scared to death to have to deal with this running game and then Trayvon Rudolph one on one on the outside. Now, I think what's going to happen is defenses are going to say, hey, you got to prove it to me. Yep. You got to prove that, you know, this fifth string, or excuse me, fifth year quarterback can break in these receivers and threaten us downfield. And, I think that's what it's going to ultimately take to get back to Detroit. Harrison Whaley with a burst. We've already seen him rip off a couple of big ones. Now, you mentioned the passing game there. I think we might watch over the next few weeks here in the non-conference season who's going to emerge in that spot. Yeah. Shamar Thornton runs out on the field here, but you'll need more than one guy to step up, and we get a chance to watch that. And I think games like this is important to put it on film. We talked about the, you know, film can be intimidating. I think it's important that NIU in these games take their shot, even in games like this where, where they've got control of the game and the scoreboard's going their way. You still got to take your shot to let defenses know we're not afraid to throw the football down the field. And look at the tight coverage. They're going to see a lot of man coverage, bump and run coverage, because they want to force this offense to prove they can do this right here. Cole Tucker on the receiving end this time. The DeKalb native. Went to high school just a couple miles away. A big reception for a first down inside the red zone. Because let's face it, it's the easiest thing to do for an offensive coordinator to call runs and then turn a hand and the football off and get eight yards a pop. That's easy, right? So defenses are going to take away what you want to do most. Force you to do something else. And that's where your fifth year quarterback can stand up. If he's the MVP of this team, they're back in Detroit. If he struggles, this team struggles. And that was an interesting set because they brought in the fullback, Brock Lampe, who's in again here. This time he is leading the way for the running back, Mason Blakemore. Just a couple of yards there, but a little deception. And you know what? Here's another thing about the pass game. I think you get an opportunity to get these tight ends. They've got a bunch of them now. You know, they've got guys who are 6'4", 6'7", 6'4", again, 235, 240, 250 pounds. And guys that run a little better than you think for that size. I think there's an opportunity to get some of these tight ends involved. Again, put on film that you have a diverse passing attack when you need it will go a long way for you. Thomas Hammock's group trying to seal the deal early in this third. More coming up when we return. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night. So you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. Childhood shouldn't be spoiled by bedwetting. Good nights have 40% more protection versus leading training pants. So kids can wake up awesome. Awesome days start with good nights. If you're sitting there thinking about quitting, don't. Because today, we are not afraid of growth. We are built to do hard things. I want you to feel alive today. You are a plate of fajitas at a packed restaurant turning heads. Sizzle, baby. Sizzle! Keep sizzling. Great things take time. You are tougher. Peloton, motivation that moves you. Give it to you.
IU up 21-6. I want you to take a look at something because when you get a win in the first game, you're looking for opportunities to coach yourself, your team up. Watch number six, Joel Barrows. Watch him take a swipe at the ball right here. Here it comes as he's getting up, swiping the ball. Now look at the reaction. Boom. Now right there, that's a problem, right? Mason Blakemore has an outstanding game. He's been terrific. But what you got to learn is we can't have plays like this. We want a lot of tight ball games by not doing crazy things like this. The stakes will get higher. The opponents will get tougher. That is going to be a teaching moment, I guarantee you, by Thomas Hammock, because you got to screw the tops down when you win to keep their focus. And he'll do that right now, I'm telling you. Meanwhile, on the rollout, it's a hookup between Rocky Lombardi. Finds his tight end there, Liam Sorhan, who's typically an extension of this O-line, but catches the ball this time and takes it into the end zone. And Jason, that's what we talked about. You got to get these tight ends involved. How do you replace a big play threat like Rudolph? You get everybody else involved. And I'm telling you, these tight ends are going to have an opportunity. 6'7", 262 pounds, and he's an athlete. Look at them pick those legs up, right? I mean, they've got talented football players at the tight end position. I think you're going to see them emerge in this passing game as the season goes on. It's usually Miles Joyner who we think of as the tight end of the group that's making the receptions, but Sorhan gets involved there. 28-6 Northern Illinois trying to close out this deal as early as possible here in the third. What I like is another eight-play drive, another clock-eating drive. This is who they are. When you play in IU, you better do something with the ball when you have it because you don't get a lot of possessions with a team that runs the football so effectively. They're going to chew up clock. They're going to run plays. They're going to wear your defense out if they don't get off the field on third down. Oh, that's the balance that we talked about they would need. There's the offensive coordinator, Eric Eidsness, for Northern Illinois. This group now 28 points on the board. Moved the ball so efficiently and so frequently last season. Seen the same today. That last play, Jason, you know, a lot of times you overlook the ball handling of the quarterback. That was a nice fake by Rocky Lombardi, yeah. right? The ball handling, keeping it tight to his body, fake it into the running back's hands, pull it out, throw an accurate ball on the move. Those little small things, that's where your fifth-year senior can really help your offense. Benefield brought down inside of his own 20 there. We talked about, excuse me, Jason, we talked about the efficiency, right? He hasn't been asked to do a lot today because he hadn't had to. They're running the ball so effectively, but be there when I need you, right? If I need to call a play like that in the red zone where we're going to fake and run a little bootleg, I need you to execute it properly. So we're seeing now the maturation of this passing offense. They're starting to get other guys involved, and it's going to have to get better for sure. But again, the... The security blanket they have is a guy who's played a lot of football at the quarterback position. Jono O'Brien still in at QB for Eastern Illinois. Northern Illinois 17 and 3 against FCS opponents since 2000. It's a building year for the Panthers. Expectations aren't very high for them in the Ohio Valley Conference after going 1 in 10 a season ago. That was a very young team. This also a young group made up of 80% underclassmen. So trying to piece together the puzzle with a new head coach and Chris Wilkerson, new offensive coordinator and Joe Davis. Five and a half to play here in this third quarter. Here's Chris Wilkerson on the sideline. Loved his energy chatting with him earlier this week. They go to an empty backfield this time for O'Brien. Looking over the middle, caught by the tight end Anthony Manavez. A stick route by Manavez. Timing was great. That energy you're talking about. Keep it positive. You, you still have a young team. And then look, look at the screen. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores, a lot of redshirt freshmen. Stay positive. I, just looking at this team right here live compared to what I saw on film, they're a better football team than they were last year. All right? And in this game right here, obviously, is getting away from them and all that. But every opponent won't be an FBS every single week. If they just keep playing like this, and again, no give ups out there to guy, the guys in white. They're playing hard. I like that. I respect it. Had multiple drives get inside of NIU territory. This. this is a burst up the middle from Benefield. We've seen his lightning strikes as the coaching staff likes to describe it multiple times today. Yeah, and you don't see a lot of blows up front. How many free hitters 
in the backfield have we seen from the guys in red? Not a lot. Look at the hat on the hat. That, that, that's as good as it gets right there. A stalemate is a win for the offense. If you're a defender, you can't have Velcro on, on your jersey. You got to get off the block and make the plays. If you're not getting off blocks, you maybe not you're getting blown off the ball, but you're not getting off the block either. And they've got backs that can find a crease and exploit the defense. They've kind of give Northern Illinois a little taste of their own medicine mm -hmm. at times, haven't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, just enough. Just enough to stay balanced. Back to the air this time. And another completion along the sideline. It's Justin Thomas again. He's been the go-to guy today when it comes to going to the air. Transfer from Albion College in Michigan at the D3 level. Played four years there. Grad student now. He has a special place in offensive coordinator Joe Davis's heart because Joe Davis also coached in Michigan at the D3 level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to come up a level and see what it's like in that FCS? So far, so good. You and I were both saying to ourselves a second ago during commercial break, how many times has Eastern Illinois been inside of NIU territory today? Yeah. They find themselves in enemy territory again here, going to the ground, bouncing off of tacklers, and staying on his feet is Marquenzie Pierre. And I like the ball security. When you're fighting for yards, it's high alert for fumbles. But he's keeping it high and tight, just like you're taught. I like it. And I just keep thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of projecting what this is going to look like in the OVC. What, what, this, what, this, what can this look like against another FCS opponent? Yeah, I mean, look, if you're a Panther fan, you don't like the scoreboard today, but I promise you it's not going to look like that every day. Four of their six drives have ended in Northern Illinois territory. O'Brien back to throw again into one-on-one. -on -one. He was looking for Thomas. Flag goes Ooh. flying. Jordan Gandy was in on the coverage. I don't know. That one... I'm not so sure about when we talked about hard, hard it is to play defense back in today's football. Defense, number 14. I can't wait to see this replay because it looks like to me I saw two guys competing with their hands on each other. Let's see. Got a go route. Good position. Yeah, I mean, again, how are you going to call this on the defense? He did look back to the football, didn't he? That's one of the things that's key in that situation. Yeah, and he has a right to his position in the ball just as much as the offensive player. I mean, I, I don't get it. I mean, I, what do you do? <laughs> I love feeling your anger for the defensive player. It's palpable across the booth. I'm trying to stay neutral, bro. I'm trying. I mean, but it's hard. You don't have to. But look, that, that re to me, I'm just looking at that replay. That looks like two guys competing, fighting for the ball, incomplete pass. O'Brien to the air again, steps up, had time, wheel route, touchdown! Mm. Jalen Benefield out of the backfield, catches the touchdown pass. We talked about his versatility. We talked about the weapon he could be in the pass game, and I love the route. Watch this beautiful wheel route. See him look back, and then boom, turn on the Jets. I, mean, I, I just love how he sold that. You got to be patient. You got to be an actor, Jason. You can't be too quick. Take a couple steps, look back, and sell it, and then boom, right off the sideline, staying in bounds. You see a lot of times these backs, they step out of bounds and really beat themselves. He stayed in bounds, knew exactly where he was. The execution on that drive was stellar, but it's been really good all game long. They just haven't been able to capitalize. 2.43 to go in this quarter. Eastern Illinois kind of making it manageable here. Again, they've had their opportunities. You look at Benefield on the ground and then through the air as well, using him in multiple ways. Just telling you, he's going to be one of the best all-purpose backs in the OVC. I mean, look at those numbers. And that's what you want. You want a guy, especially from a captain, right? A guy who's a leader. You want him playing like the number one thing to be a leader is action. Show me you deserve to, to lead me by the way you're performing on the road in a hostile environment when you're down, but you're playing like you're up. I like it. There were two Eastern Illinois drives that got deep into NIU territory, both of which resulted in field goals in that opening half. Then you also think about the, the near pick six. It would have pretty yeah. much definitely been a pick six for Tyrese Harvey. So if you're a Panther fan right now, you're kind of thinking back on what if. If it's a 15-point game right now, nowhere near over. But they've made this interesting. And look, they, they've played 15 MAC games and won seven of them. 
So it's not like they've never beaten a MAC team. And I mean, look at the other side. NIU has only lost 10 times against the OVC. Well, guess what? All 10 of them were against Eastern. So, I mean, they have had their success against the guys in the red. A little deja vu here. Evan Lafayette making his way out to about the 25. It brings Rocky Lombardi back up, and it brings up a very important defensive possession tail into this third quarter for Eastern Illinois. That was an outstanding play on coverage by Elijah Ben Ball. That's your starting corner running down, collision and finding the football and getting the ball carried down. That's the type of effort you need from starters that play special teams. And you see that a lot with the FCS programs. They naturally might not be as much depth. Yeah. You need your best players. I mean, look, let's be honest. You see it in Power 5, too. The best teams, they, they, they keep their starters sprinkled into special teams because it's that important. Harrison Whaley, the back out there for Northern Illinois. Colin Bohannon met him pretty early, the linebacker who takes over a key role on the defensive side for Eastern Illinois this season. Hit a but important player transfer Jason Johnson to Central Florida. He could be starting for the yeah, Knights this weekend. He will. He will start from. He's an All-American. And he, he led the, the OVC in tackles the last two years. And then he decided he's going to take a step up to FBS and see how he competes there. And more power to him. And you know, the, the transfer portal it, it gives, but it takes away as well. To the air goes Lombardi. Finds Shamar Thornton. That's kind of been his guy today. Met on the outside by Jordan Vincent. It's the efficiency we're talking about. Now, they don't need Rocky Lombardi to necessarily be a hero ball, to play hero ball and try to win the game by himself. Keep him honest. Be efficient. Show that you can, can be versatile in this offense. You can pass it when you want to. The question is, when they get in obvious passing situations, when you need to pass, and the defense knows and everyone in the stadium knows it, can they be efficient in those situations? Gain of five sets up third and one. To the ground they go. It's kind of an obvious running situation, and the Eastern Illinois defense read it well. We'll see where this is marked. And just near the yard to gain. They give him enough for a first down. Remember, we made a point to talk about the size mismatch that the Panthers were facing, and I said, that's fine. You just got to play with leverage and play hard. And you know what? I, I've been impressed they overall. Impressed yeah, I mean, look, the offensive line, we know. We've talked about how good they are at NIU. But, you know, they have been getting blown off the ball, the Panthers. They've showed up. They, You know, they're not laying down. And they built the wall in that play. That's just good running and getting the first down in a third and short situation. They're creeping up here. Clock is ticking on this third quarter inside of the final minute. Fresh set of downs for the Huskies, and they go back to the grounds. Mason Blakemore brought down. Jason, you literally had nine players within three yards of the scrimmage. That's what you're going to see if you, with you in IU, and you're still running the football into it. That's tough sled. You're going to see a lot of that this year. They're going to try to make this offense prove they can throw the football consistently. Number 65, offense, 15-yard penalty for the three. It's chop block. As a defensive player, I hate seeing chop blocks. Those are, those are things that get people injured in careers. Trying to crack down on. Well, this is when a, player, a defensive player is engaged up high, and someone comes and hits him low while he's engaged. That's a no-no, because you're sort of a defensive player. When you say defensive, defenseless players, we're usually talking about offensive players, right? Well, a defender who's engaged up high with a blocker is def defenseless to what's going on below his knees. And when you come in and hit him below the waist, I'm liking the fact that that draws a flag. Because, again, like I said, that can end people's career. Called on Logan Schurnitz, who is second team All-Mac a season ago at that right guard spot for Northern Illinois. Backs it up to first and 25. Be the Panthers, you have to capitalize on that negative play. You get pressure on the edge. Lombardi lets it go. Deflected out of the air. That's Phoenix Porter. Second deflection of the game for Porter. Yeah, and that's a guy who's a backup player, right? That's a guy who's maximizing his opportunities. I don't care who's number one in the depth chart. All I care is when you get in the game, how do you play? And, and, 
and, and we always talked about when I was in college at Penn State and even when I got in the league, I, I don't care who the starters are. When you get on the field, play like a starter. Number 40's done that all day. And that's the first play I've seen where, you know, you saw a quarterback and a receiver not really on the same page, right? That, that was a little miscommunication there. They're lucky that that ball ended up on the ground. Feels like a huge possession. Should be the final play of the third quarter. As you mentioned, Eastern Illinois needs to capitalize on this. They could find themselves getting some good field position if they do. Oh Cole goodness. Tucker on the receiving end here. So a big pitch and catch of about 25. It is going to be enough. They'll call it a gain of 27 to move the chains. The 28-13. At the end of three, and a big conversion on second and 25 to end the third for Northern Illinois. Fourth quarter action coming your way, week one of the college football season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. This, this is supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity. It's fast. So gaming with your niece has never felt more intense. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, oh. Uh. Unbeatable internet, only from Xfinity. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. Childhood shouldn't be spoiled by bedwetting. Good nights have 40% more protection versus leading training pants. So kids can wake up awesome. Awesome days start with good nights. Electrified. Hanguk Tire. Philips presents one blade. Trim. Edge. Shave. For every style. For your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. Together, we make life better. Philips. Anyone who has made the choice to come to therapy, they can be helped. I have a compulsion to kill people. FX is the patient. <laughs> Now streaming only on Hulu. DeKalb High School, less than two miles away from Husky Stadium. There's DeKalb roots all over this roster. Uh, notably, you look at Cole Tucker, who just made that 29-yard reception to move the chains on 20 on second and 25 there. He went to DeKalb High School. So, made a big play to get NIU out near midfield here. Hardy's changing the call on the scrimmage. Oh, he's got him. Goes to the air. He's looking again to Tucker Ooh. and finds him back-to-back -back receptions for Cole Tucker hauling it in. Jason, if he looks to his left, 
He's got a wide open Casper on the left hand side streaking down the field. Now it ends up working out. Nice route there. Nice shake right at the top of that deal. Get some separation, but whoo. So last two plays for NIU gains of 29 yards and gains of 13. Both passes from Rocky Lombardi and catches from Cole Tucker. Which was wide open down the sidelines. The flags flying here. It's not penalties. Usually favors the defense. No arguing going on in that line of scrimmage. Greg Sujak, our referee, in the midst of that. Cole Tucker's made the last two grabs. This was his 2015 visit to NIU versus now. Mm. What a difference. On the left side, he looks a lot like Jason Ross Jr. On the uh, right side, you've he been looks, calling me out tonight. Well, I'm just saying, and on the right side, he looks like me in my own head anyway. <laughs> How I hope and wish the I looked. That did gain three yards that they, they put <laughs> you in right now to running back. That's right. Sub you in. It'll be first and five after that call. Rocky Lombardi back to throw again. So we're seeing them go to the air a bit more frequently. It's Shamar Thornton on the opposite side. Tucker and Thornton kind of emerging as the two go-to wideouts today. Soft coverage on the outside. You run those stop routes, you have an opportunity to complete some passes. There's Jordan Gandy who plays on the defensive side of the ball for Northern Illinois. He also went to DeKalb High School just a couple miles away. He's played a key role and will play a key role at corner this season. Cole Tucker, again, could be one of the guys to emerge in place of Trayvon Rudolph, who, if you're just tuning in, is likely out for the season after suffering a non-contact injury in practice prior to the season. He led the group in receiving yards a season ago. But look at the line for Cole Tucker. They bring him in motion. First and ten inside of EIU territory. Going deep, looking for Thornton one-on-one. -on -one. Incomplete. Tyrese Harvey, the DB, on coverage. No, that, that DB ran the route for the receiver. And I'm not sure exactly what Lombardi thought he saw. But I saw, I, I saw a ball that was a little too far inside. And that was scary. Because Harvey was all over it. And that ball needs to be going outside. A little too far inside. And you see that the offensive player had to turn into a defender, that could have been an interception. Back to the bread and butter, the ground game. It's Ontario Brown. Another flag. Is it me or are these flags starting to mount up a little bit? A little chippy down there. Logan Shurnitz is having words with one of the linemen for Eastern Illinois. You might have Holden here, partner, again. That back judge is throwing the flag. Generally, it's on the offense. Number 70. 10-yard penalty for the previous spot remains second down. They get Marquise Cox on the, on the left side of the O-line there. He's a really good left tackle protecting Lombardi's blind side. 6-6-3-0-9, the junior. Only one starter today up front for Northern Illinois, not over 300 pounds, by the way. And that's your center, the one guy who can afford to get away with it, because usually he's helping, he's double teaming. Rarely are centers singled up one guys. A lot of hype around the offensive line this year for Northern Illinois. Rare mistake there from a veteran group. Drops Lombardi back, well protected, a dart over the middle, in and out of the hands of Casper Wetkowitz, the newcomer from Illinois State. Casper's the guy we saw streaking up the sidelines, who had an easy touchdown if the ball came his way. This time he runs a really nice route, a dig route across the middle, a deep dig, about 15 yards, and that ball's in your, in your bread basket. Right? And that's, uh, you gotta catch it first, Casper, then you run. Look that ball in, and you see, you see how he, Decide to go with the body catch. You know, the best receivers I've been around, and I've been fortunate enough to be around some truly great ones, Hall of Famers. More often than not, they're gonna, they're gonna make hand catches. Get, those, get that ball in the hand, tuck it away, and then run. He tried to go with a little bit of a basket catch. 
and bounce right off of his pads. Brings up third and 20. Over the middle again. A connection that's going to come out about 10 yards short. Found Miles Joyner, one of his tight ends who led NIU in receptions a season ago. And you look at the tight end group. You know, what, what got them off schedule was the holding penalty. And, and, you know, there's going to be opportunities on this film for Thomas Hammock and, co and company to really coach them up, get better every single week. And it's never going to be perfect week one. And I don't care what the scoreboard is. The key is, can we continuously get better and better so that when we get to conference play, we're playing cleaner, smarter football? That's a 42-yarder from John Richardson that splits the uprights for NIU to breach the 30 mark on the game. 31-13, early stages, fourth quarter at the Cal. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Wait to get to this For party. real. Oh, look, look, the last minute of oh, lemonade. Snap. Let's get it, let's go. Wait. You're Ty Dolla Sign. Ah, that guy from the store. Catch me. It's the neon way to lemonade. So we need something to do. Dad's work. Meet daughter's playtime. Wait till you hear this. Thankfully, MetaPortal helps reduce background noise. Zero lace model. Adjusts to low light. Oh, it seems far out. And pans and zooms to keep you in frame. Take a look at this. So the whole team stays on track. Okay, let's get some feedback. MetaPortal, the smart video calling device that makes work from home work for you. Put your hands in the air, like you just don't care. Back with my bestie. Pizza Hut's got two mediums for just $6.99 each. That's less than a dollar a slice. Got two more slices. So much pizza. <laughs> My pizza. What? Carry out two medium one topping pizzas for just $6.99 each. No one out pizza the hut. Thirty-one thirteen, Northern Illinois on top with twelve fifteen to go in the what fourth. What you laughing for, Jason? Why are you laughing? <laughs> that guy is over two forty, and he's wearing big overalls. That's a, that's against all kinds of man code. And I'm sorry, sir. Well, but you shouldn't be wearing that. We're, you called me out earlier. You might as well call out a couple of events too. The mullet is just. Yeah, that's, that, I like that. Could I'm okay you see with that. me rocking that? I'm okay with season. that. Yeah, I mean, because that's probably like Samson. It's probably his strength right here. That kid's probably rock strong. You cut that hair, yeah. he's probably weak. <laughs> it take it takes a lot of it takes a real away from confidence. The identity. Yes, there's real confidence in a young man to wear his hair like that nowadays. I'm telling you. I love confidence. <laughs> Ooh, nice play. Speaking of confidence, the special teams were good, really good a season ago for Northern Illinois, especially when it came to pinning teams deep. That's something we may have not touched on yet. Yeah, yeah, that, that, and that is a, a really important stat that's overlooked. Opponents drive start average. If you can consistently make your opponent start their drives inside the 20 or near the 20, really inside the 25-yard line, your propensity to win goes up. It's just, it's really hard to drive the football consistently the long way without screwing it up. Most offenses do. So Jono O'Brien back in now at QB. Looks like Eastern Illinois is going to go the distance with him. Benefield up the middle. He's had a good game. Remember we talked about how film can be very intimidating for your future opponents? Well, there's another side to that too. When your opponents see 
ball carriers slipping through the line, picking up extra yards, when they see wide open receivers, when they see offenses moving the ball, that can be a problem going forward because it can give confidence to your future opponents as well. O'Brien fakes the handoff this time, pressured, laps it downfield and has his receiver. That's Cooper Willman. Beautiful touch on that pass. It really was, and I continue to be impressed by O'Brien. That drops his. Now, you play like that every week, you, this team's going to be fine. But that's what I'm talking about. But, you know, you, you can't allow this. You're at home. You're the favorite. You're more talented. I need you to be better than this defensively. You should be choking this team out right now. And that's the question mark, right, for this NIU team is defensively. When you look at the numbers a year ago, they don't jump out at you. So certainly the concern going in and have been exploited a couple of times today. Yeah. And, and, and listen, if they're good in the red zone, which they have been at times today, that, that's going to be really good. Playing great red zone defense, making teams kick field goals, keeping them out of the end zone. That's going to be very important. So red zone defense is going to be a really low key Big time important deal as they go down this, uh, this schedule. It was huge for them a season ago. O'Brien under pressure again, flushed. Ooh. It's caught. Niall Hill, wow. What an answer here on this Eastern Illinois drive. They've had multiple times, you and I have talked about, where it's been kind of almost yeah. getting the job done. And the score is 31-13, but it doesn't feel like it, no. right? Because they've been able to move the ball. They've been down on the plus side of the field so often. I like their way to attack that football. I, you know, you don't sit and wait on passes that come to you. You go get it. I like how you attack that football, pluck it out of the air, got the first down. Spent a lot of time in plus territory today. Up the middle goes Marquenzi Pierre picking his way inside the red zone before finally being brought down by Javon Bird. You think they want to see that in OVC? <laughs> I'm just telling you, they don't. They don't want to see this in the fourth quarter. Defensive backs don't want to tackle guys that are over 230 pounds late. That's a very intimidating runner up inside. Expectations aren't high this season for the Panthers, but they're maybe proving some people wrong early. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. Childhood shouldn't be spoiled by bedwetting. Good nights have 40% more protection versus leading training pants. So kids can wake up awesome. Awesome days start with good nights. How am I supposed to live with someone who can't even set a lineup? She has me in six different leagues. See the total yards at the bottom of your screen there. It kind of tells the story of how offensive coordinator Joe Davis's group has really moved the ball today, Tayoka. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, it, the old saying is there's no bigger lie than statistics. And so there's two ways to look at that. Obviously, you can say NIU is not playing very good defense, but then you can also say 
The scoreboard is the number one stat. It's 31-13. And IU has stood up in the red zone multiple times. They've got two turnovers. But you're not going to be happy as a defensive coordinator giving up that many yards to an FCS team at home. And IU defensive coordinator Nick Dennett Benedetto in the shot there as well. Mentioned he works with Derek Jackson in tandem. They're backed up deep in their own territory here. Problem for Eastern Illinois has been capitalizing, though, in the red zone. There were two field goals early that they would, would have liked to be touchdowns. They go towards the end zone here, one on one, mm. looking for Justin Thomas. Question mark is, did he haul that in? It's being ruled incomplete. That's good defense because, like I said before, a lot of times you can, you don't have to necessarily get an interception or a pass breakup to play good defense as you're positioning. And this is where you use the sideline as an extra defender. And he's in good position, so he's forcing perfection. And boy, that was close. Now, I saw some black come up there right at the end. Ooh, wait a minute now. Remember our live review wait process. Wait a minute. And while they're that, lining up. Is that ball secure? Boy, that is closer than I thought. And there this might be a look coming. Yeah, that that's deserves a, it. Yep. Boy, that that is, if that stands as a touchdown, that, that's unbelievable execution in the corner of the end zone. And again, I, I thought that was good defense forcing a perfect throw, but that just might have been. <laughs> well, a big review coming up next. at Angus Beef Ballpark Frank, and you'll say... Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. It's time for the biggest sale of the year on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because proven quality sleep is vital to our health and wellness, only the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed keeps you cool, then senses and effortlessly adjusts for your best sleep. It tells you exactly how well you slept, your sleep IQ score. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night, so you can be your best for yourself and those you care about most. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed and free home delivery on all Smart Beds ends Labor Day. The BK $5 Your Way meal is here to satisfy your cravings. Enjoy a savory Southwest Bacon Whopper Jr. with small fries, four-piece crispy nuggets, and a small drink. The $5 Your Way meal with Southwest Bacon Whopper Jr. Only at Burger King. This? This is supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity. It's fast. So gaming with your niece has never felt more intense. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, oh, uh... Unbeatable internet, only from Xfinity. Getting outdoors is all about the experience, the thrills, the rides, the memories. We put that in a bottle. Clean ingredients. Ruling on the field is incomplete pass. Mm. Boy, <laughs> When Panther, it's close. You look yeah. at the replay. <laughs> when Panther fans see that replay, I'm not sure they're going to agree with that call. That That is very close. They certainly go either way. Remember, their initial call in the field was incomplete. It has to be irrefutable. You're going to see a catch, and you're going to see a toe tap. There. The only question is, is this a bobble after? And I, I think I that's the know. hard part to tell. Yeah. It's a bobble Too after. Far. It's been ruled no catch. Whew. That initial call was incomplete, which is very important there. Yeah, because it has to be irrefutable evidence that the call in the field was wrong. So that's a great point. 
I, I don't know. When I look at that, I, I see a catch and a toe tap. Jordan Gandy was the DB in on the coverage. And in college football, all you need is one. Like the pros, we need both feet down. So, but second and ten. Here we go. Here's Chris Wilkerson, his first game as the Eastern Illinois head coach, returning to his alma mater. This is what you'd like to see. Excuse me, Jason. This is what you'd like to see in a guy like Isaiah Green May step up and make a play with a pass rush. A dart over the middle. This time, it is hauled in by Justin Thomas, and it is an Eastern Illinois touchdown. Well, he said, I tried to make it the hard way. You didn't give it to me. So now I'm going to run a quick slant, make it easy for you to call. Fake the dive. Ball's a little behind him. He does a nice job of, of adjusting on that ball. That ball should be out in front of him. It's a little behind him. Body catch, but he secures it. That's, well, that's really good execution again by the Panthers. So a big Panther drive makes it an 11 point game just under 10 minutes to go in the fourth. Now if you're Eastern Illinois you have to do one of the hardest things to do which is keep the Huskies quick when it comes to this upcoming drive here and get off the field. Yeah again this is what being a running football team can do for you. Having them behind that's what they don't like that too much. But when they have the lead and they have the scoreboard in their favor clockwise they can churn out yardage and kill you slowly. If you're the Panthers, you've got to find a way to get this running game stopped, but you cannot completely sell out because they will throw that football on the outside and move the chains that way. So it's going to be very interesting to see. You know, is, are the Panthers going to bring people? Are they going to put nine in the box and really force them to throw the football? And if you're in IU, you got to show that you can do whatever it takes to move the ball, whether that's running or pass. Look at what Eastern Illinois averaged a season ago, just under 15 points per game in that 1 in 10 season. Showing some improvement tonight, 20 on the board. Now they're looking for a defensive stop. I don't know how many games they're going to win. I'm just telling you, they're a better football team this year than they were last. That, and, that's easy. And it feels like they should have more points. Yeah. Remember those two field goals that came in the first half? The drop pick six. The drop pick six as well. Mason Blakemore opts to scoop that up. Eludes one man, but then is cut down inside of his own 20. Well, arounds the Mac on this week one of college football. Kicking it off on a Thursday night. Northern Illinois up 11. Panthers trying to come up with a stop here. You know, coming out of the half, I'm not sure that the intensity level has been as high as it was in the first half for NIU. It just seems overall body language and intensity has dropped a little bit, right? These fans have hung around, and this is still very much a game. Just under 10 to go in the fourth. On the edge is Whaley turning something yeah, in the Duffin area. area. Look around the Mac here. Akron pulling out the big win in overtime. Tennessee jumped all over Ball State pretty early. Toledo with a shutout victory. Eastern Michigan and Ohio still to play tomorrow and Saturday. Shout out to Akron for getting that win, though. Again, they lost six straight. I'm just telling you, when you win, the food tastes better. Your dance moves a little better when you know when you go to the party. But you know, winning cures everything, at least for one week. That ball in and out of the hands there of Cole Tucker. Made a couple of very big receptions on the last Northern Illinois drive of 13 yards and 29 yards. Things a little bit off in the second half. Just not quite the same. You know, you, this would be a learning experience for them. They, they've got to be able to close games the proper way. They, they've got to be able to keep their intensity level and really, really step on guys next. I mean, they, they're used to playing tight games. But they don't really want to play tight games if they don't have to. It's all about the execution. Brings up a big third and ten for this Eastern Illinois defense. Lombardi goes over the top. One on one. Ooh. Down 
downfield, and the catch made by Shamar Thornton, the newcomer to this receiving core, might be the go-to guy this season. And that's what we talked about. Could Rocky Lombardi find these new receivers when everybody in the stadium knew he had to? That was an obvious passing situation, and that's a beautiful ball. And look at the layout. But those are two guys who have gotten together and got on the same page in the spring and summer. He's thrown to a spot and his guy was there. 38 yards inside of Eastern Illinois territory. Jordan pushed back here. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but there's going to be a lot of opportunities just like that. You're going to have tight man coverage and a lot of field in front of you. Can these receivers win? And can number 12 be efficient and accurate? If he can get, he's, listen, he's up his completion percentage for the last two straight years. If he can have a career high in completion percentage, they're going to be really hard to beat, Jason. In the second half, how about on, remember that second and 25, gain of 29, last drive, this drive, third and 10, gain of 38 through the air, both mm -hmm. through the air, big for Northern Illinois. To stop Eastern Illinois from getting back into this one still trailing by 11 Eastern Illinois plays in the Ohio Valley Conference you see some of the teams around the Ohio Valley playing tonight and over the next couple of days UT Martin could really compete this season win over Western Illinois defending champs right yep the Leathernecks of Western Illinois will travel to Minnesota next week one of the teams around this state the Leathernecks by the way how about that <laughs> name yeah Your Nittany Lions, by the way, down three at the end of the third. See, why'd you have to bring that up? I had to. You know I did. Lombardi to the air finds George Gums. He had no career catches entering today. He gets involved, primarily used on special teams a season ago, the Chicago native. 6'4", 230. Got some size on it. Look at him. Looks like a tight end. He is a weapon in the run game. You, you're talking about one-on-one -on -one stock blocking on a DB? Well, he dominates in that run game on the, on the outside. Of course, if you're a wide receiver in IU, you got to block. You can't see the field if you're not willing to block and help this run game out on the perimeter. 13 yards. That last pitch and catch down to the 29 of Eastern Illinois. Clock ticking under seven minutes. The Huskies go back to the ground at 154 rushing yards in the opening half alone. Averaged about just a shade under eight yards per carry in that first half. And a bit more limited in the second, but that's been the identity. Yeah, different story in the second half, right? Yeah. When you yeah. needed to run the ball to run this clock out, you, shout out to the Panther defense. This run defense has been nice, especially in the second half. And we wondered if Northern Illinois could go to the air a bit more season without Trayvon Rudolph, their leading receiver from a season ago. And they've proved they can in the big moments of the second half today. Again, those big gains of 29 and 38 through the air, big spots. Eating up some clock now. Inside of six minutes to go, a little elusive move there from Mason Blakemore. They said he's the most elusive of the trio, and we see it on display. Yeah, he showed it that time, didn't he? Some sweet feet right there, man. You got unblocked players. One on one. This is the ultimate team game. There's no question about it. But at the end of the day, you're going to have the opportunity to make a play. And there's another one. Nice job of blocking in the perimeter. We talked about that. But well, that's that elusiveness you can't teach. But there's a flag down. Looks like it's going to move back a bit here. Rick Sujak, the referee. That's a really, really bad penalty right there. There's Mission the second. It's a good looking dog. It's a good looking dog. Yeah. I love a husky. See that you see that nose glistening, that wet nose? That means he's healthy. Yes. They're doing things right. They know how to feed him here, they know how to walk him. One of the live mascots around the country. Rocky Lombardi, a deep shot downfield. There was some contact. Yeah. Looking for Fabian McRae. On the coverage was Jordan Vincent. Well, it was a beautiful route. He turned the, the DB around, and listen, it, in college football, you get a, a, pass in the penalty, a pass interference like that, holding, it, it's not a spot foul like in the NFL. So I'd rather my DB grab a guy and save the touchdown because he was beat badly. 
So that'll get some of that yardage back for NIU. We talked about the cuteness of Mission 2. Some of the history of dogs around the country. Again, one of the live mascots, 25 around the land. Uh, Yale's Handsome Dan. How about that name? The first live? <laughs> it's, it's Handsome Dan. Dan. Handsome Dan. Mission 2. Gotta love it. I guarantee he has the best eyes of any of those live mascots. Look at, look at that. That's, that's, that pierced through your soul. I right like here. his house in the background there, too. <laughs> He's got his water in there, a football. Right. What else do you need? You know, wait a minute, why is that water in the bottle? <laughs> the dog has no thumbs. He can't pick and pour that water up. Don't underestimate Mission the Second. I know he's talented, but he's got no thumbs, Jason. How is he going to pick that up and pour it into his bowl? He, you know, Huskies can do some amazing things nowadays. <laughs> he's one of the live mascots around the country, so I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Picking his way through traffic goes Brown. This is where this offensive line has to impose its will. They have got to find a way to get a hat on the hat and move people and allow these backs to hammer the defense. This is what they're built to do. And if you're the Panthers, man, you've got to find a way to keep them off the out of the end zone, but but preferably out of the score or off the scoreboard pick completely. You, you, you need a TFL, you need a big play, a turnover, something to avert any points being scored in this situation. Turnover battle won by Northern Illinois today. They had two interceptions, both from Eric Rodgers in that opening half. Looking for the edge here is Brown. He gets knocked down along the sideline. Cameron Leach in the mix. Just bringing people, selling out. You can blitz the, to rush the passer. You can blitz to stop the run and watch, watch him bring in extra guys. This time you're just trying to get guys to run through gaps, get penetration, and get TFLs. You know, I continue to be impressed how hard the guys in white are playing. You're not you. I'm not throwing this football. Lombardi looking to the air. He can run it himself, though. Ops to loop it up. Liam Sorhan has already been on the receiving end of one touchdown pass today. Couldn't haul that in, so brings up fourth and six. Huskies looking to add some cushion to this lead with 3.44 to go. Interesting call. Uh, and I think Eric Eitens has, has, has done a nice job today. Play calling. I'm not sure I agree with that one, though. I, I like the idea of running the football. The clock's going to continue to run when you do that. But look, man, this is four down territory, possibly. You pick up two or three yards, you can go for the fourth down and really end the game. A 38 yard attempt here for John Richardson, who already has a 42 yarder today. That one joints off the upright and in. So he does indeed give NIU the cushion. It's a two score game, 34 to 20, with 3.39 to go. One bite of 100% Angus beef ballpark frank, and you'll say. Hello, summer. Oh, yeah, it's ballpark season. No one achieves a dream alone. There are the coaches, the teammates, the first ones, the closest ones. These are the people that inspire me, the ones that made it all possible. I guess you can call this my Hall of Fame. With the right support, any dream is possible. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. So we need something super distinct. Dad's work. Meet daughter's playtime. Wait till you hear this. Thankfully, Metaportal helps reduce background noise. Zero lace model. Adjusts to low light. Though it seems far out. And pans and zooms to keep you in frame. Take a look at this. So the whole team stays on track. Okay, let's get some feedback. Metaportal, the smart video calling device that makes work from home work for you. I wanna take a walk on the wild side. Nah, I won't stop till I'm satisfied. Hey.
can't be kids when their clothes don't fit right, and the same goes for their nighttime underwear. That's why Good Nights has large and extra large sizes to comfortably fit older kids the way they should. Good Nights, more sizes for a comfy custom fit. Excited to have you back with us for the Mac on ESPN this season. A little conference action next week between Western Michigan and Ball State. Rest non conference tilts, but things are really getting underway here. I like that uh, South Alabama Central Michigan matchup as well. I always like when the Sun Belt and Mac get together. Mm -hmm. Two yep. Marshall and Bowling Green in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Yep. Northern Illinois is scheduled tough over the last couple of years in the non-conference to get themselves ready as a big hit is laid there on the kick return. But you look at last season for NIU, traveled to Ann Arbor to play Michigan at the big house. It was a big loss, surrendered a little over 60 points in that game. But Thomas Hammock said it helped them a lot in different ways. Looking at the schedule this year for NIU, they've got back-to-back -back SEC opponents in Vanderbilt and Kentucky. You see a flag down here in the non-conference. There's no foul. I think he said there's no foul in play. I need to, I need to raise my, my lip reading game, Jason. It's clear today that it's not great. It's only good. week one. We have more weeks to work yeah, on that. But I'm competitive, man. I, this is not good. I need to get better at reading these lips. That'll be the uh, task over the next couple of days for you. Right. As you see the upcoming tasks for Northern Illinois. Mentioned that. Those matchups against Vanderbilt and Kentucky, that's a, a ranked Kentucky team. It's been better over the last couple of years in the SEC. Vanderbilt will come here as Markenzie Pierre breaks one up the sideline. Markenzie Pierre into the second level and inside of the 40 down deep in NIU territory. Saying this game isn't over yet. What, what else can you say about the guy? He's going to be a problem against FCS opponents, and I don't care who it is. Look at the move. Now watch the top in speed, 230 pounds. Now I like this. Don't go out of bounds. For what? For who? If the clock's going to stop because it's the first down, I need extra yardage. I love it. Great job by number one. Joe Davis's offense moving quickly here, taking a shot over the middle. That's what you need right now. He's looking for Niall Hill. Couldn't find him there. The linebacker, Kyle Pugh, in his eighth season, dropping back in coverage. There. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good deep middle drop by your Mike linebacker. Watch the depth. Nice job. And again, with your position, you don't actually have to make a play on the ball at all times. Your position forces it to be a perfect throw and a perfect catch. And usually that's good enough. Now, you know, there was a, an opportunity to catch that football, but it was tough. Empty backfield now for O'Brien. Inside of three minutes to go, Justin Thomas tried to scoop that up off the turf. Had a touchdown reception earlier in this quarter. That's that's that that's the toughest throw that quarterbacks have. You you on the far hash and you have to throw it all the way across the long side of the field to the other side. It, when guys can complete that pass with zip on it, that's when you know you got NFL type arm talent. That's the pass that you. That's the next level for O'Brien. You want to see him step in and drive that ball and give his receiver an opportunity to come up with that on his feet. Big third and ten, crowd making some noise over the middle goes O'Brien finds Niall Hill barging his way ahead inside of the red zone. And I go tempo here if you're the Panthers. They're substituting, you have to give the defense an opportunity to substitute if they wish. But I need to see a, a faster tempo here. I want to see a little more sense of urgency. 
We've got four receivers out here, including the tight end, Jay Valley. High snap. We've seen some of those today. O'Brien trying to elude traffic. Pirouettes and just tosses it out of bounds. There's a flag down as well. That's smart. I like the poise. Good decision. You get out of the tackle box. Avoid the catastrophe. Throw the ball out of bounds. Holding. Defense. Defense. Number. Hmm. Bit of a break there. Holding on the defense. Yes. And that's why he couldn't find over receiver. First and goal. That's not the real mission, the second. <laughs> that is a phony. They can't fool you, Jason. You're on it, man. It's week one, but I'm on it. We gave it away, though. As I said, really That one fluffy. has thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. Mm -hmm. Touche. Now, maybe the bottle was his. Maybe they left the bottle of water in the big old gallon for him. I still think the real mission, the second, could open that bottle of water, <laughs> by the way. Maybe about first and goal for Eastern Illinois. Trying to come up clutch here. O'Brien eludes his way out of traffic. Hit. Got it away anyway. Niall Hill gets popped along the sideline. Another flag is down on the field over that same sideline. There you want to just step out of bounds if you're Niall Hill. Catch that ball right on the sidelines and get out of bounds. And the clock is stopping. But in that situation, don't come back to the middle. You just step right out of bounds. The flag is what stopped the, uh, the, the clock. But... That'd be smart now. Clock, clock manages situation of football. You gotta step out of bounds in that situation. Ching. Read those lips, Jake. I lip right against the offense, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you saw the hand point. Stop it. Hmm? Do we see a cap on the ground? I think. Yeah. Okay, so that, that means that the, the receiver stepped out of bounds, wasn't forced out. He cannot be the first guy to touch touch the football. O'Brien looping Ooh. it over the top. It's Jay Valley, the tight end. Grad student from Grand Blank, Michigan, making the reception. Captain Jay Valley. Mm. He talked about the ball handling earlier by Lombardi and look at the ball handling here Woo, little double catch Woo, little, little loosey goosey right there but Valley comes down with it don't miss the layup Jay Valley missed all of last season with injuries worked as a student assistant coach during the season was pumped to get back in action today and that reception pulls his team within a score with 204 to go and gosh you think of all the almost for Eastern Illinois in this game to only be down a touchdown. <laughs> You're shaking your head a little bit here. Yeah. This game has been so intriguing. Wow. I mean, and, and the bench is engaged. They're fired up. Talking about the Panthers, man. They, they, there is, they, there's nothing but fighting all hard on that side. And you can't come back in a game like this unless you have a tremendous amount of belief. So I'm, I'm impressed. Win or lose, no matter what happens, I'm just impressed on how they've continued to execute no matter what the scoreboard says. You, you don't look at the scoreboard. I don't care about that. Could have faded multiple times. Of course. And we've seen them play stouter defense as the game wears on. Usually it's the other way. Usually the offensive line makes the defense wilt. We've seen it time and time again. But in this situation, we've seen the defense of the Panthers get stronger as the game went on. So here, are you looking onside kick? No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick this away and see if I can get a stop. I mean, I know that's not it. It's easier said than done, but I, I've got to kick this ball deep and force NIU to make a couple first downs. Eastern Illinois has two timeouts. NIU has three. Now they're lining up they're for the onside. Up. Yeah. Yep. And clearly they don't believe they can stop it when they have to. And they, they have a couple times this second half, but this is the, this is the ball game here. Was it loose for a second there, ultimately scooped up by Northern Illinois. It's Fabian McCray at the bottom of the pile, and there's a flag. Probably offsides on the kicking yeah. team. More than likely. In that situation, the offense has the option to take the ball or have him re-kick. Obviously, you never want him to re-kick. How about the coaching job? Chris Wilkerson today, though, in his first game as the head coach for Eastern Illinois. And if this score does stay the same, maybe another one-score 
game for Northern Illinois, which was the consistent theme during last year's MAC championship run. But what a gutsy job from Eastern Illinois today to stay with this. Both by offside kick please decline personal targeting 11 oh, wow. kicking team previous play is under review okay so what you saw was a coverage man trying to hit a an opposing player the receiving team and try to dislodge the ball and they got him for targeting let's see if we can figure it out where it is let's look at the contact up front that's probably number 11. And the question is, did he lower his head and use it as a weapon? If he makes contact with the crown of that head, that's a problem he may have, partner. The, the crown of the helmet is the, the top of the helmet, by definition. Yeah, he lowers it right at the contact point. You see that hair lower, and he's making contact above the shoulder, maybe? It's hard to tell from that angle. And would you say that's a defenseless player? There? Yes, yes, I would. He certainly launches. You see him launching his body. He is off the ground launching. The question is, does that crown of the head make contact first? Listen, we talked to the officials about that before the game. You know, they they, they don't throw a lot of guys out anymore you know, for, for targeting. It, it's, it's become a, a deal where, you know, only one DQ every five games on average last year. They reversed more than they ended up calling. Correct, year. correct. But this is a very interesting. See that head go down. Boy, it is, this is very close. I, I mean, it wouldn't shock me one, if it goes one way or the other. I mean, that, that head does go down. But I can't tell if the contact happens in the shoulder or with the head. And I also can't tell if he made contact the with the... for targeting is confirmed. Number 11 is disqualified for the rest of the game. It will be a 15-yard penalty assessed at that spot. And I think what we heard was they confirmed the target. That's Alexander Oyewele. Yeah. But and what that means is that he gets to stay on the sidelines. That's, that's one of the rule changes. He gets to stay. He used to walk him off the field. But more importantly, he will be ineligible to play in the first half of the next game. The next week, yeah. And look, I get it. His job is to dislodge the ball from the from the player. So he's trying to make contact. He's got to blow somebody up. You just got to find a way to do it without the top of your head. Two oh three to go in this fourth. Eastern Illinois can stop the clock a couple of times. They're pinned back at their own 30 right now. You'd have to expect this NIU team to go to the ground. Exactly what they do here with Harrison Whaley. I'm the Panthers. I'm selling out all, all run. I'm, I'm asking my corners, look, you got to lock them up man covers. We have to get in and stop this run. We have to find a way to get a TFL, strip, something. But we need negative plays. In corners, I need you to play man coverage all over the field. And the issue here is also need a, a miss when it comes to the That's potential right. field goal attempt. That's right. You see in IU, they're going to stay in the huddle. They're going to let this clock run. The clock is their friend. Kicker for NIU, John Richardson, has been money today. He's connected on both 42 and 38 yards out. Barry's going to make sure this ball snapped under two seconds. Back to Whaley, who has been described as the calming effects of the running back trio that we'll see throughout the season for Northern Illinois, Illinois brought down Eastern. by Tim Vargo, one of the captains of the defensive line Please for Eastern Illinois. Clock. Very physical player. He's only 6'2", 240, but he plays so hard. He gives you everything he's got on every single play. That's all you can ask. 60. Second team all OVC, excuse me, Jason. Second team all VC last year. 67 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Eastern Illinois has had their moments and chances. There was a near pick six early. You look at them just down seven now. A couple of trips into the red zone that resulted in field goals. So it, it could go either way if you look back on this one. 
He told me that a quarterback would go 20 of 29 for 337 yards. Uh, but I said it was it was Lombardi. Uh huh. But uh, the young quarterback has stepped up and made claim. Now, obviously, the two interceptions have, were painful. But for his first game out against a quality opponent on the road, I, I've been very impressed. And, and obviously, Wei Lee and company, they can run the football. And Lombardi has been efficient. 14 of 22. No picks. Has been under pressure pretty frequently to O'Brien. He's kept drives alive. Meanwhile, here's Harrison Whaley cut down prior to the yards again. So with a 102 to go, that brings up this potential field goal attempt. So here's the question: If you if you kick it deep, would you be in a better situation right now? And you have to ask yourself: Would the play calling has been would has would have been as sort of conservative? Had this ball been kicked deep? I mean, there's no way of telling, but I, mean, I just couldn't imagine NIU throwing the football in this situation. I'm kicking it deep and asking my defense to come up with a stop. They did. It's just that it's in field goal territory. And that was the, the risk they took with the onside kick, yeah. as you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm not saying it was a bad call, but it's not. I mean, we talked about you got to shoot your shot. You got to do whatever it takes to win the game. And had that ball bounced off of a guy's shoulder pad or something and Panthers get that ball you know we're yep. talking about a different story possibly. See crazier things no question now Rocky Lombardi the starting QB for the Huskies looks on and how about John Richardson I mean, this is a record setting kicker for NIU he's got a chance to seal the deal this is he did so often last year he's connected on attempts of 42 and 38 today Trying to make it a double-digit game. 43-yarder is wide. No good. My goodness. So life for Eastern Illinois. And their fans that have traveled are up and making noise. Just think of this. I mean, this is a guy who made 22 field goals. A school record, 22 field goals last year. Man. With 58 seconds to go, Jonah O'Brien, who began his career at Eastern Illinois, transferred to Colorado State, then returned to the Panther program for this season as a chance to lead his group down the field. With under a minute to go. Empty backfield. What a game this has been. O'Brien pumps under pressure. Able to find Anthony Manava as the tight end at the last minute. How many times have we seen him sneak his way out of trouble? I and mean, I've said it over and over, the poise of this young man is so impressive. If you're in IU, that's fine. Let him catch it underneath. Let the clock keep running. Don't let anybody get behind you. Back to throw again. This is the tempo we've seen over the last few possessions. It's Benefield up the middle. Another big gain. Another first down for the Panthers. Up to the line of scrimmage. As soon as that ball is snapped, you need to, need to be ready to snap the ball. Remember, Eastern Illinois has no timeout. They just used up both of them, so that's why they spike it there to stop the clock. How challenging of a situation is this without timeouts? Well, it's tough, I mean, but these are the situations you practice. You, you practice a lot of these situations in camp. And right now, you're just asking your team to execute all the things that we talked about, all, all of the, the little situations. And well, here it is right here, showing up in the ball game. And if you're in IU, you got to figure out who's going to rush the passer for me. I need to make one play. One sack ends the game. It's NIU crowd trying to make O'Brien feel the pressure. He's hit as he throws. Got it away. Another completion. This time, it's Dwayne Cooks on the sideline. And they're in blessed territory. How about this kid, huh? I mean, just time in and time out, stands in the pocket, looks down the barrel, takes the shot when it comes, and delivers catchable balls. So fresh set of downs, 22 seconds left on the fourth quarter clock. O'Brien quickly delivers over the middle, has Anthony Manavez again. You think they run it up here and try to spike it? 12 seconds running clock, I think he... I think gotta, moving. I, yeah, I, I think you gotta you gotta go. Inside of ten. They will have to go. It's at five. It's taking too long. They have Let's to snap go. it. It's at four. O'Brien looking downfield. Just dumps it off. Niall Hill spins down. That'll do it. Iced. 
Daver and Rayner comes up with the tackle. And it's a game-winning tackle. A valiant effort from Eastern Illinois. An FCS program on the road. But the Huskies survive yet another one-score game. A long line of one-score games <laughs> dating back to last year. Well, listen, this is what they do, right? I mean, it, it, it appears that they're most comfortable when the game's on the line. And the defense, that was an excellent job of execution. They kept the ball in front of them. They came up and made tackles inbounds and kept the clock running. And, and the Panthers, they, they just sort of lost it right at the end there. You've got to get up to the line of scrimmage, make a call, make a quick catch, get out of the bounds so that you can set up your final play. It didn't happen for them right here. The clock ran out. You have to tip your cap to Chris Wilkerson coaching his first game for Eastern Illinois as alma mater. Thomas Hammock, the head coach for Northern Illinois, ultimately comes out on top. And again, remember, to open up the season for NIU. The Husky fans can, can breathe a sigh of relief. But wow, Tyreka, that was a fun one. It was a lot of fun. And there's corrections on both sides. But you know what? I saw hard on both sides as well. Both of these teams will be fine. They'll get better as the season goes on. We appreciate you joining us. Kicking off what should be a thrilling college football season. That was a thriller here in DeKalb. Our director is Anthony Giassi, producer Stas Hall. My partner, Tayoka Jackson. I'm Jason Ross Jr. Have a wonderful